man, shout out to Uncle Charleston, man, man. I, I yeah, he the truth. <laughs> but Toes is somebody I could call like personally. You know what I'm saying? Toes did things for me. You know what I'm saying? So like, my thoughts on SPM. I grew up on SPM. He is the best Mexican rapper to ever touch a mic. You know what I mean? And she tried to blackmail him, and like we don't like. I don't condone that type of shit. You were found guilty of it in my state. If you found guilty of that type of SPM was green-lighted by the Hugh Stones and the Thongo Blast, which is the biggest Chicano gang in the prison te Texas prison system. Um, I know this because my father is one of them. I ain't gonna lie, Lefty don't look like he can stand that pressure. Uh, like, see me, I grew up beefing with Suranios. I'm gonna keep it real. Like, correct on this because a lot of people jumped in the comment section that were Southerners and they're like, he said essays. Why he spelled it like that? Because oh, I get it. D Baby gets more respect than Mexican OT in the in Texas. He really just tuned in too oh, much. Well, he has a sneak this. Yeah, well, I guess like the the blogger put it that way. That Bricky came out and said that, but I was I was speaking on that. I ain't gonna lie, I was speaking on that. I'm just cleaning up that I wasn't talking about D baby, you know what I'm saying? Like, like from the he from the north, you know what I'm saying? He a representative of the, of the north side of, of my city, bro. Like, and I feel like it's young dudes from that community that not like not cool, but like it's okay to play like that now. And that's and that's a domino effect of you know, like uh what's the word, like demasculating us, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, yeah. Like Kyle Roo, my big homie from Bompton, really from Rose Cranes of Lee. Like one tray for one four two. Well, Rich Rabbit started doing it, but I like Mr. Keep It Hood. That's my homeboy. Shout out to Mr. Keep It Hood. Hey, what do you do? What it is? What it was? This is your boy Pocho, one of the Pocho Live podcast. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications today. Today we got a real one in the field from Houston, Texas. Let's go, Street Migo Sean. What's up, my brother? So, bro, let's just get into. It. I saw you over there uh, with Gold Toes GT Digi Digital. You know what I mean? Doing your thing with D GT. Why'd you uh, start with GT? Um, like. What happened was I was I was living in Colorado like the, probably when I started rapping about four or five years back. It was around COVID season. I'm not really the best with time, but um, it was a few years ago when I started rapping. And then uh, what happened? I I, I kind of just started like um, tapping in and networking through the internet, and I seen that they had like like guys over there that were up and coming, and I had just tapped in with them. I'm from Houston though, you know what I'm saying? I, I lived in Denver for for a little while, but but um, but I'm from Houston. I I. I moved out there when I got out of jail for a little while. And then, um, what's it called? Yeah, and then when I moved back home, I shot a video. What had happened? I shot a video. And, uh, well, like I said, that initially, that's how I locked in with them. I, I reached out to them. I seen they distribute, they helped people distribute music. They were hands-on. So I reached out. And um, at first, I wasn't dealing with go toes. I was dealing with, like, just other people there at GT Digital. You know what I mean? And then, like, I want to say, like, when I when I'm me and Toes had a few conversations in between that time. Then I moved back home and I needed like rentals for cars and like like you know like like to, for my video and stuff. And you know, so I started reaching out to them, and and um, we had rented a car. They pulled out to my they pulled up to my vi my video. We had the dub the 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 Rolls Royce the coloring and out there. It was like like within me being home within a month. You know, I'm hanging out that motherfucker with the AR15. I'm talking about that was my back then type videos. You know, so like that's when we got more like locked in and he started you know like bringing me out to places and as of and then you know that's how that happened right and then i guess as of recently if you see me with them is because i had took like a two-year break off of music and kind of just started focusing on other things in life and you know had a little couple of situations occur and then i started doing it again and i started building the momentum again and you know so i was reached back out and he pulled some man pull up to the office talk about some stuff and we're now we're here you know Hell yeah. And I was looking at your, your music and I was tripping about like, man, you can rap in Spanish for real. Oh yeah, I'm Mexican food. Like uh my mama, she have white, you know what I'm saying? Like my mama have white. Oh, me too. My, yeah. It's my daddy though. Yeah, for so sure. so like my mama have white and um her dad is, is full blood Mexicano, you know what I'm saying? And, but uh I don't know, I guess like you know, that was Sean was like a popular name at the time. I don't know what, what the reason for that was because like straight away I, I grew up like going to mexico as a little kid you know what i'm saying like my, my people from a small rancho like my 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 dad is type shit. my dad did a lot of time in the feds so like as a as a young kid like they would take me out to to mexico you know i i was raised a lot by my grandparents to my mom my mama would kind of be like in the streets doing her thing too or like so whatever happened life happened in the hurry you know they had us young you know what i'm saying so um I, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents like christmas break um summer breaks all them stuff i go out to mexico we from puebla you know what i'm saying like down yeah. south of mexico you know what i'm saying so like um and and like i said like my grandpa he, he he moved over here and became a welder 
but like his thing was always taking care of the terreno que teníamos allá, the stuff that his dad had passed on to him and like what stuff that he had bought because he bought land in Veracruz, like all the way down, down south. Like, you know, if you know, I, I, I'm saying, I'm just like Mexicano, like that madre, you feel me? Like, yeah, so like, um, like, like Veracruz is like all the way down south. On the other side is like Central America. I'm not sure if it's El Salvador or Guatemala, but like when we'll be down there, like my grandpa, man, he was a type of person like the morrillo he'll be like no hombre aquí no andamos de puras vacaciones si vamos a gastar pues también vas a trabajar vas a ayudar aquí so esto es de nosotros you know what i'm saying like so uh -huh. i'll be out there milking cow I'll, for those who don't understand what i said i said um my grandpa will wake us up in the morning wake me up in the morning me and my little brother and be like you know y'all ain't just here like just to chill You're like we, we got to work this is our stuff this is our land we got to take care of this so we wake up in the morning six o'clock in the morning on our vacations I'm milking cows and bringing, you know, goats down from the Cerro. The Cerro, I guess, is like mountain, but like, right in, in English, right? But like, you know, it's a little different. And so I'm bringing, I'm cuidando chivos, taking care of goats, you know what I'm saying? Helping build fences, riding horses. You know, like we're from a little little place too, but like the, the uh, like we would have like the town fairs and things like that. I'd be front seat, like watching gallo fights and, you know, how he fails, like, you know, real Mexican lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, though, like, like that's like half, that's half of me, like, you know what I'm saying? My heart over there. I, I love it out there. I lived out there whenever I was, like, 18, um, too, as well. Some stuff had happened, and I I'm, I went out there for, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, like about nine months, eight months. Yeah, for sure. But, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. so that, and that's, that's how I speak Spanish so fluently, though, you feel what I'm saying? Hell yeah, you over there rapping like uh, as good as Chito Ranos, the uh, Chito uh, Ranas. Ranas. Yeah, for sure, for sure. The bro got so he, he be doing it too, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he does. I mean, yeah, he's off the hook. He be dissing a lot of people that I'm cool with, but at the same time, I'm here for the music. So a lot of people, they like, because I have a background from Northern California and stuff, but I, I was actually born in Southern California, so you can't really put me in a box. I spent a lot of my adult life in Southern California, but... I know my roots, but a lot of people try to put you in little boxes, and I'm like, bro, you can't do that. Even when, like with Texas, they try to say kind of like, oh, they they be acting black. And I've been to Houston, Texas, and my family's from originally from El Paso. I was telling you earlier that a lot of people don't know, even from Texas, don't know that a lot of Californians are originally from Texas. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like that. In other but, places too, not just California though. Like like when I when I lived in Denver, and when I and like I said, like I was telling you. I worked in the union for a long time out there in the carpenters union and i'll be like in the different states like new mexico uh colorado what's the other one uh no, like what's the other one new mexico arizona all them places a lot of boys be like yeah we, we, our family came from over there from texas first you know what i'm saying and then we migrated over here later on like, yo no shit. but hell yeah we well, you know what's up them borders man hell yeah bro and it's just like uh and then they try to say like oh they're acting black or this or that but oh, i don't because yeah, 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 yeah. i feel like uh the texans over there they really act really mexican and really like not it's not black it's like texas you know but just tell me about because in the bay we're real connected with the blacks too we don't got no issues with them and we our cultures like really merge and it's into like a bay area culture it's not like, really like i can speak off for me right like i'm from houston right i'm from i'm from the h like we, i i i had um went to a leaf i mean i went to elementary in a leaf that's where maxo cream is from you know who that is maxo cream in there like nah, that, but I'm still learning. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I heard, I heard his name, but I don't want to act like I know. You know, nah, really. Nah, to them boys, but like, like yeah. I, I went to elementary, like in the A-Leaf side. Like, um, when I went to school, like I went to school, like in the Forum Forum Park Elementary, like where we kind of go. It's called Betty Best Elementary. Like as a little kid, all everybody I went to school with for the most part was black. Like you know what I'm saying? So like, I was the only Mexican there at that school, right? But uh, we moved around a lot. Me and my mama, like. Um, and because my dad was in the feds, like I said, me and my mom and my brothers, we moved around a lot. We moved up the streets to like Kirkwood. I lived in some apartments that was like 50-50, you know what I'm saying? Half Mexican, half black. But like, it's yeah. never, it, it, there was never like no division where I'm from. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like where I'm from, we say that a lot of people use the N-word, you know what I'm saying? In their daily conversation, like Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? Even white boys sometimes, but like me, I've been learning to not use it as much. I don't even really use it when I be rapping, you know what I'm saying? But like, like at all, like hundred percent, I really don't use it the n-word at all not for nothing just you know hip-hop generational and man, you know sometimes them black dudes like black people like or i or you know like they probably don't be wanting to hear mexican say that word so much so heavily and they automatically like nah i can't fuck with that you know so like 
I really don't even use that word too much out of respect for just, you know, and, um, yeah, I'd be like that too, though. I used to, I hear we say nigga a lot too, though, but like, I used to just say more like in a passionate time, but yeah. when I was doing it, bro, it was like, because we were doing it because we were, it was a, a form of saying I'm black too, um, or, or basically like I'm having the same experience of you, you, my nigga, yeah, we're experiencing uh, it together, but with like the internet, like around my partners, like, yeah, I probably talk how I talk, but like, I, I just, man, and it just period though, I'd be damn near trying to watch my language as of lately. You know what I'm saying? I really don't be like feeling the need to use so many cuss words in my vocabulary as much. You know what I'm saying? Not, yeah, not learning, it's just, I'm actually trying to cut cussing out of my uh, out this whole year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because I mean, but yeah, no, for me, I, what were you gonna say? No, no, I'm going. My bad, my bad. Oh, no, I'm just gonna say for me, I just looked at it as as I get older, why not just let that go, let that word go? You know what I mean? And uh, try to find new words to use. And if it offends somebody, why? And it really doesn't come from my culture. So what's the point of like holding on to it so tight? You know, like with a passion. I also and so, feel like um the people that say that are like old school Southerners, bro. Like not really like like what? Because I'm like first and foremost, let me say I pay attention to what's going on out there. Like don't like you know what I'm saying I'm I I I pay attention to like y'all's market and the things that are happening and, like and I feel like for the most part the only people that feel some type of way about like even the guys up north and the way they carry themselves or things like that like, correct me if I'm wrong or where I'm wrong at but it's it's mostly like old old school southerners you know what I'm saying like because like even the their younger the younger generation that that's how they talk to them out there you know the the, the young kids they dress how they dress more like the hip hop culture that the like peso peso swag is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Like, so I think that, that like that old mentality is starting to die down a lot, but I mean, you know, you got these, these dudes that still push a little narrative or whatever the case may be. But I'm, I'm in my opinion, I think that shit is already like dead. You know what I mean? Like, like cause even, yeah. even like, even the Chicano style of rap that, that those guys down there, for the most part used in the you know what i'm saying to like use you know like back then like that, that that's that's not even you know what i'm saying like like lefty uses a lot of like black artist lines and like you know like things like that like and like is influenced by like draco and like you know like things like that I, i'm like i said i pay attention to the market in california you know what i mean yeah, no, I mean, I was cool with Lefty. I, my biggest thing with Lefty was more just the industry that he was in kind of industry on me. Yeah, like, sure. I was one of the only people at the full community that was looking at him, and the full community said he wasn't ready. And I can understand that. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I can understand it. But then when he was ready, they all came to save him and died in TV, full community. But that, but if you look at the timeline, I was talking about him first. After I left the community, I was talking about it. we were doing collab posts together. You were over there. Few, I remember you was over there, huh? You was over there at Food Community. Like, I'm, the, I'm the founder and the creator of the whole Food Community. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Thing, uh, LA Icon, I brought LA Icon and I hired LA Icon. Okay. And then I got That's in a fight the type with of things I'm unaware of. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, LA Icon is just a punk ass little fat fuck worker that got no power in the game. And he was supposed to be a, a mic too. You never had like a, a main co-host will have like a funny fat guy on the side and he's uh, supposed to just say little <laughs> oh, little jokes like he does. Yeah, and so. he thought he was daddy, you know, but I'm daddy. So that's the thing. And and I and the my whole thing is the parents got in a fight and he's like the kid. And so he was not even involved in the conversation. People think that he's like really the face or he's nothing, bro. That's why he left and that's why it's all gone now. Because he never had any part of it, you know. He was just like the mic, somebody on the mic that was willing. Yeah, because on the mic. outside looking in, you would think that's his shit. Yeah, exactly, and that's yeah. what happened. Is he's the type of vato that you invite to your house, or you let him stay for a night, and he, that vato moves in, you know, and acts yeah, like it's yeah. his house. He's putting his he opening fridges and everything. <laughs> yeah, bro, and I was just like, I can't be around a vato like that, so I just had to let him go. And I, what I did was I pressed the owner and him because they were trying to be political. And they're not really like that. And the owner's not even a gang member. So I was like, bro, you guys are not even like that. And if you want to be like that, let's, let's you know, yeah, like, oh, but her. Her. Yeah. it turned into like what I call gangster Karens. It's like they get like they throw those little passive aggressive things like females do. And then when you turn up on them, they're like, oh, my God, you're you have a big temperament. You're we can. Uh, we think you're all, like they basically said that I was a. Uh, like a crash out king and they can't they don't they can't trust me so they always try to make make the person that's like vocal seem like that though like you know because you're the one that's like i feel like 
speaking the real, they gonna always try to make you seem crazy, bro. Like I'm already knowing how it goes. I, I just went crazy for some shit that I said. Motherfuckers, yeah, bro. 50, 50 about it. Like the the foot. I don't know if you seen, but like the page. That's what's crazy, huh? I can't even see it on your page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They 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 have. I had a well, lot, well. Basically, what happened was I said some shit on my story. It went crazy in my DMs on my story. So What'd you I say? Paid a, a local uh, blogger to post it for me, uh, called Texas Bush. Shout out to them. And um, what's it called? They went dumb with it. You know what I'm saying? Then the the, the music food community had reposted my reposted it and like put a picture of me on top of D Baby and Brick Wolfpack. You didn't see that shit? Oh no, I didn't. What What'd you say though? Nah, it's because you know, buddy came out talking about he a, a bisexual or some shit like that, and they said he. Planned. So was that a, was that a cloud chase or was that real? This is how I feel about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you saw me, huh? I get like, man, look, I'm. I just. I, I, so, on the post, I had said like, man, this rap shit weak as fuck. Like, uh, I'm. I, I can't even pull it up. Like, I'm gonna I'm exit out this hell. But I said some shit is rap shit, weak as fuck. Like all the guys, all, all, all the popping essays in my city. And I put it in quotations for a reason. I put it be because like where I'm from, like we say the word essay, like 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 mostly like this when black people are referring to us or like people of other races are referring to us, like Chicano uh, uh, Mexicans from the city. Like oh, that's my essay partner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, we, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They don't understand. Yeah, that's like they even call me an essay. And I don't even trip because I'm an NA. But it's yeah. like, I don't, I'm not going to get it. But see, like, where I'm from, most people don't understand that that's like, a, like, see me, I grew up beefing with Sudanians. I'm going to keep it real. Like, with, with like, a, like, a, like a local Texas circle of Sudanians, I grew up, they were my biggest enemies. Like, on some kind of South Siders are over there? Um, well, the, the only ones that, they, they call themselves the Six Side Midnighters or some shit like that. I, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know how tapped in they are with out there, but you know what I'm saying? But like, they shot up my house. Like, I beat a bunch of them up. A bunch of them up one by one in the hallways, restrooms. Anytime they see me, it was press or like, man, it was a bunch of shit. Back in, young shit though, that's young shit though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. No. I'm like gang banging ain't even really that serious. Like, is it, it, people? How do I explain it? It's like who you know and what you're doing, right? That it's no, like, it's more like more personal. Like sometimes, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Because right. it's like you got to remember, like we got we got, right here we got Crips, but like you got Hoovers and Sixties, but they be in like the same clique. Like you got hybrid gangs out here that I have like, like G's, yes. BDs, Crips, and Bloods yeah, in the like, same gang. Foods, they're just everybody against yeah, everybody. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. So like in Chicago type shit. So it, it ain't even like it ain't even like um like the, like structured out. Maybe back at one point in time it was. You know I'm a little bit older. Like back then, yeah. But even back then, like like them dudes started beefing with me behind some hope. Correcting this because a lot of people jumped in the comment section that were Southerners and they're like, he said essays. Why he spelled it like that? Because oh, I, I, spell, I spelled it like our accent. You know what I'm saying? Like how we say, you, you feel what I'm trying to say? Like, like That's essays. Right, yeah. Yeah. Correcting this because a lot of people jumped in the comment section that were Southerners and they're like, he said essays. Why he spelled it like that? Because oh, I, I spell, right. You know, most of these essay rappers, the most, most of the popping essay rappers in my city, either gay, well, I put a rainbow, Emoji, you know what I'm saying? Either gay, oh, I did see that. Uh, I did see that. <laughs> gay, yeah. He's correcting this because a lot of people jumped in the comment section that were southerners and they're like, He said essays. Why he spelled it like that? Because oh, I, I spelled with well, my picture above these dudes' heads. First of all, another thing, let me clear up like when I said junkie music, I wouldn't even really just I, I forgot that Buddy had named his album Junkie, junkie Mode or some shit because I ain't really just tuned in too oh, much. Well, he has a sneak this, yeah. Well, I guess like the, the blogger put it that way. With my picture above these dudes' heads. First of all, another thing, let me clear up. Like when I said junkie music, I wouldn't even really just, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm and I'm so like me, I didn't even try to clean it up. I just like had said that where I use that word, you know what I'm saying? But like, man, shout out to dude, because really he the only one that I feel like like crossed over into that market, you know what I'm saying? Like like put by these mainstream artists and things like that. Beside before Mexican OT did it, you know what I'm saying? But like, but um, I don't got you know what I'm saying. I I ain't saying that I that I. I, I forgot that Buddy had named his album Junkie Junkie Mode or some shit because I ain't really just tuned in too uh, much. Well, he has a sneak this. Yeah, well, I guess like the the blogger put it that way. What I'm more like, I be listening to them boys. It's just like, you know, like the people I fuck with in the streets don't fuck with the or it's pressure or beef with the guys that they fuck with in the streets. So like, it'll never be, you know, what I'm saying water and oil don't mix. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, but um, I said that shit. 
I got on brick brick ass and it what well, I I had said it but I had said it at the time I, I forgot that buddy had named his album junkie junkie mode tuned in too much oh, so I, he this yeah, well, I guess like the the blogger put it that way that Bricky came out and said that was shit but I was I was speaking on that I ain't gonna lie I was speaking on that I'm just cleaning up that I wasn't talking about D baby you know what I'm saying like I ain't got no issue with yeah. that either. you know That's what I'm saying all. but uh I had some um, like like I said like my opinion of it bro and and then the same day we shot a video I recorded the song and shot a video I'm waiting on my video man to get back he's been taking a damn minute but he got a long a lot of things going on after that uh we just had a hurricane in the city so like he lost a lot where he was at you know what I'm saying and or or what was it yeah it was that that little hurricane burrow whatever the fuck that shit called so he he in the rooms right now like you know what I'm saying on the vouchers on the song I said some shit that Bricky came out and said that I was speaking on that I ain't gonna lie I was speaking on that I'm just cleaning up that I wasn't talking about D baby, you know what I'm saying? Like, like how you gonna say how you gonna say that you with the punks then back though say you was trolling? They rap me go beautiful, play with their manhood, just cause they ran out of motion. Like, mm. man, like how you like that's how I feel about it. Like whether you with if, if you plan or you not plan, well, yeah. like you why 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 do that to get it up? Nah, you plan with yourself that Bricky came out and said that was shit. But I was I was speaking on that. I ain't gonna lie, I was speaking on that. I'm just cleaning up that I wasn't talking about D baby, you know what I'm saying? Like closing no doors or no you know what i'm saying no like i ain't right. trying to make nothing about no beef or no whole ass shit like that but i also don't care about like you know what i'm saying shutting that off like i don't give a fuck nigga suck my dick nigga i don't need to go through that door you know what i'm saying like i'm on, I'm on that type of time you feel me but like because at the end of the day bro it's young it's young dudes in the city bro that like that probably look look to bro like he's somebody you know what i'm saying or like like from the he from the north you know what i'm saying he a representative of the, of the north side of, of my city bro like and I feel like it's young dudes from that community that inspired by bro. Cause I mean, from to my knowledge, like them boys used to be outside and like, you know, shining and, and looking good. And, you know, of course these young dudes gonna, you know, you feel me? Like, and 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 they're just making it okay. Like, like man, to me, it's pushing the narrative to me that 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 that, that, that it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, not like not cool, but like it's okay to play like that now. And that's and that's a domino effect of you know, like, uh, what's the word? Like, demasculating us. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But that's how I feel, right? That's that's my opinion, bro. Like, man, you part of an agenda, bro. You pushing a narrative. Like, fuck you on. You know what I'm saying? Like, or you you think you you letting it feel like it's okay to play with yourself like that? Like, I'm a man, bro. I'm a man, bro. I never play with my my sexuality or my manhood like that. You feel me? Like, I got kids that look to me some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, hell no. Nah. That's how I feel about it, though. So whether you plan or not. That's a good point, though. I didn't even think about that. Either way. I mean, I thought about it once, but I didn't argue it. But either way, if you're, if you're a good rapper, if you have all those connections that he has, why even do this? And then for the example to the other men, you know, to that you're going to do it just on something. And then to play with your sexuality. Like, when I was raised, we didn't... Yeah, bro, that's not no gangster shit. Yeah, that, that no, that, we know that ain't no gangster shit, but that ain't no man shit either, bro. Our parents, our, our our fathers and grandfathers would never, bro. Yeah, it's wild, and that's why I didn't like also the food community, bro. Because I feel like a lot of times it, it 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 doesn't tell the news right. Like even in that situation, you didn't put names, but they put names just to yeah. get them going, and it does help the artist in it kind of. But at the same time, I feel like it makes. Our people look like we're all a bunch of buffoons, and the black people and people looking inside are like all oh, those Mexicans ain't with it. They're still playing games, but at the same time, the blacks, everybody else, they're all everybody's beef. It's a competitive sport, but I do think that there should be some rules and regulations. You feel me? Like not sure. cop chasing for nothing like this. And honestly, I don't. I have never like. I've been the trenches. I'm in the trenches right now. I'm on Braidswood and Gester. I'm in the city. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. I ain't never just like, and I be like, work, work. I ain't never just heard nobody be like, oh, put that brick on. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, and that's why I didn't like also the food community, bro, because I feel like a lot of times it, it 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 doesn't tell the news right. Like even in that situation, you didn't put names, but they put names just to yeah. get the. Like, I, I ain't never heard nobody say that about me either. I ain't I, like I ain't nobody. I'm I'm. I don't heard my partner say it, and the people that fuck with me say it, and maybe like, but I, so I ain't trying to put myself on no pedestal either. But like, I just feel like. You're not really the biggest artist in our city. You definitely not that. And uh and and I don't think nobody's talking about you right now. So you did some shit to me that was that made me lose all respect for you, bro, as a man. Who do you think is like if you walked on the block? What, what, what who are they listening to in Houston? Man, right some now? Sauce Walker, 
they listening to D Baby, Sauce Walker. Some people listening to OT. Uh, they listening to uh, shout out little Jeremy. You know who that is? Nah, I'm like in the rides too. Yeah, may know him oh, on the Rasa. On, on, on oh, no, 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 just everybody like in the yeah, rides. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we to, uh, crazy rims. You say what? You guys got the crazy rims. Oh yeah, the swangers. They call swangers. They poking out. Yeah. They poking out. Hell yeah. D baby, Sauce Walker, that like out in the streets, the people that are listening, they're listening to, yeah, they listening to D baby, Sauce Walker, uh, OT a little bit, OT, yeah, hey, and 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 like I said, just because I know what people are listening to in the streets, don't mean that these is my people, or I, I like, or my opinion, like, like I just know what's up out here, you know what I'm saying? But like, like, see, my nigga is young, easy, young, easy, hard enough, and he stole off on D baby. I'm talking about, you ain't see, you ain't see the video of that shit. Yeah, that shit was tight. Yeah, stole out. That's my boy. You know what I'm saying? That, that yeah. that's that's the homie on some other shit. Like, but like, you know, like I'm I'm naming the guys that I know are the biggest artists in the city. You know what I'm saying? Like in my car, I'm listening to Young E's, Big Tony, Big Tony for sure. Uh, yeah, Big Tony hard. Let me think. Uh, man, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot going on in the H, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Is there anybody so that's big, a- big X the plug? Uh, Big X the plug. Uh, big than a bitch out here. He he huge now. But like we were, we was he from out here. He from our backyard, so we was a lot of people were onto him a lot earlier out here first. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? I'm trying to think. And then like out of state people as well. You know what I'm saying? I listen to it. I listen to a lot of though. Like me personally, I listen to like, you know what I'm saying? Like guys like like Cal Wayne. He's a dude I listen to from my city, from Third Ward. I listen to uh, Thirty Ways. Um, he from A Leaf. I listen to uh, I listen to, to, to Sauce Walker a lot too. I ain't gonna lie. I listen yeah, to, I got to kick it with him, man. He's cool. I, I, I listen to Young Easy. I listen to Big Tony. I listen to me, I, and I listen to my homeboys. Really, I've been I've been creating so much though as of lately. I don't listen to nothing but like beats and myself. You know what I'm saying? What's your partner? Your partner in the, in the pick? I saw you with the at the GTA office. Oh, uh, that's the homie Leno Three. Uh, he he's some he them young niggas hard man they from South Park, uh, shout out to them. Hey that's, hey that that's my my neighborhood's called South Park too. No, nah, for sure that's what's yeah, up. Like, it's in my hood name too. Yeah you need to, hey tap in with them boys I ain't gonna lie like see me I ain't I do that because they'll be South Park to Park to yeah, Park. Yeah I ain't the type of person like 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 because they're up and coming you know what I'm saying and and then they have emotion they 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 up and coming and have emotion I notice a lot of people bro when they get on a platform or a situation or you know like. They don't want to shout out the dudes that's up and coming or like you know what i'm saying or like things like that yeah. because they want to make sure they they got their foot in the door not nah, shout out to little no three he hard i'll probably send you his shit later uh he got a little partner name uh, i think his ig name is rue world that, that that them little youngsters they hard man they hard for sure and they, and they putting on for they, they side of time they doing their thing but yeah um he happened to be in the office like like whenever i was in the office he walked in he had some oh, shit okay. he, he, and then uh how i go like and uh you know I thought toes, toes ain't know together. that me and bro were, were 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 associated you see what i'm trying to say so it's, yeah. it's love you know what i'm saying what's going down baby I, I, I. and uh I, I was gonna take a pic because you know it's been a minute since i've been in the office and you know bro just hopped in i might hop in bro you know what i'm saying yeah yeah sure. why not networking yeah, man yeah for sure let everybody shine we gotta make the city look good you know what i'm saying yeah we're, we're gonna do one like this but i'm gonna go uh because i'm doing a documentary on toes so i'm gonna be in houston again and we'll do one in the office again too not everybody sure. i tap in like this way so what i do is i do like a i'll do this and then if i meet you in person then we'll sit down and do one a real one you know so yeah for sure all about like that because podcast all this is also like a tool to network you know what yeah, i mean yeah i'm already going that's why i, I jump to do it so fast you know what i'm saying yeah hell yeah and i talked to toes and he was saying good things about y'all so about you i mean not oh y'all. yeah what toes talking about Oh, he was just saying like, oh no, he was just saying, oh, do that, do that, do that, hell yeah, do that. You know what I mean? Like he he got the right uh mentality because what Toes trips about most artists is that they don't come in with the right mentality. You know, they're not fanatics. They're not like they don't stand on their music that much. Like Toes makes music just to show other rappers that he can outshine them, and he's not even a rapper. He's like he's like I'm a reciter, but if yeah. he, he sometimes he'll get on he'll get on it for fun, but also to show other rappers work ethic you know like how to do it like this is how you do it I, yeah i can't write but i can do all this literally i can produce it all boom and hit it and yeah, drop yeah, i got the flavor yeah like he went down there and they're trying to hate about him uh 
uh, you know, getting Jenny six nine, like, oh, they got the, his the South side. He's like, well, first of all, Jenny's not a South Sider, but second of all, Little One wrote that song with, and he's a South Sider from San Diego, yeah. who's actually related to my family because I got family in there. And that's the thing in California, bro. Everybody up north got SA cousins, and everybody down south got northern cousins up north or some kind of way, you know. So it's like a family, you know, dysfunctional family. You feel me? So we just my whole thing is I'm just trying to get it right, but. He had little one write his, his song with Jenny Six Nine and just handled it, and then boom, it created something you know beautiful for the city. And then a lot of people try to hate, but Glotos is just moving around. But my thing with with our people, bro, is I'm trying to break this: is that we can't bring street politics into the music industry because they don't make sense. Because the streets actually don't make sense because we're not real enemies, bro. So my whole thing with Lefty, I thought Lefty was gonna. I'm trying to get. What I want is two guys, not for no peace or big old kumbaya, none of that shit, bro, but just to show that men can make business and not worry about the politics when it comes to money because that's you, what we get at Rowdy. You need to get at Rowdy. Yeah, and Rowdy's down, but then Rico's not down. It's like, man, I feel like I'm dealing with no respect. I feel like I'm dealing with some females, you know? Like, you need to get at Rowdy. Rowdy, Rowdy Rex. Rex. Yeah. <laughs> he said he was, he was open to do it, huh? If it made sense, huh? Yeah, and I like how he carried himself through it. He did yeah, it. Yeah, nah, Rowdy a G. That's what I man. Like I said, I pay attention to the Cali market, man. I know what's going on. Like a Rowdy and Rico song, Jesus. Break the internet. Yeah, for show, sure, bro. For shit show. Because I don't. I feel you. like I feel like those are the two best rappers from each side that are out at the moment that I could think of off the top of my head on the outside looking in. You know what I'm saying? If, if you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I would say. My favorite rappers in in uh, California are uh, Peso number one. Peso hard. Peso hard. Yeah, Peso number one. I like the Peso from Texas too, but Peso number one. Nah, I'm talking about Peso. I'm talking about Peso. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I just thought about the other dude because he was popping a couple of years ago. He kind of fell off. Beach. Peso, Peso hard in the beat. He got that song that just came out with too with Charles Walker. I fuck with. I fuck with Peso. He talked that trap shit. Peso, Peso. He talked that trap. Yeah, shit. I like. I like his music though. That's why I was making sure he was. He was still okay because uh, you're right. He did come out with that. That's good. Uh, I want to get more involved in tech. I was real involved in Texas music around 2020, and then I just got involved in. I, I, I get like these little things, LA, and then I'll get back over here. But yeah, I'm on, I'm on there. Like, I'll be on. I'll be on the same shit. Yeah, I like right Texas. now. Who I listen to? I, I listen to uh, Big Sad 1900. Yeah. I listen, I listen to Peso. I listen to uh, Rico. Bands got some jams. I be on that goddamn lefty disc, man. <laughs> oh, that was funny. You know, Bands is from my city. He's from my same yeah. city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His neighborhood is just over the highway from my neighborhood. What he say? Uh, you wasn't nothing in the pen but a shower shark. Oh man. And then it goes. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> the beat goes right to it. Yeah, it's yeah, just that shit was crazy, perfect. straight up. He really did that. I, 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 to be honest, I knew he was doing it because some of us knew, but. I didn't think he was gonna put it together that good. He yeah, put. No, he just, I know the videographer that did it too, and I, to be honest, no disrespect to him, I didn't think he had it in him. You know, yeah. and to him, I did not think he could put that. He really put it together, like yeah, they, 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 they just him on a gangster level, on a hip hop level, on every level that there is possible, on a man level. I mean, in front of your mama's house, hell no, nah, bro. You ain't coming to my mama's house. I don't care if it's when when she used to be. Not now, wherever you ain't coming. Yeah, nah. we're, we're gonna have to punch it at the very least. Let's fight, bro. Like that. See, that's that's that though. Like, man, like I, really I was just talking to my partner with this shit about the other day. Like, most motherfuckers they really scared of physical confrontation, bro. Like, I, I don't know. I've been feeling like a lot, like in the world we live in, like, I'd be so scared to get embarrassed on camera. They ain't finna punch, like, really punch. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, man, yeah, what happened? Like, bro, if you say something about me, bro, and I say something about you, and we have, we are exchanging words in a heated argument, and, like, it's already viral in, like, public, we, for sure we ain't gonna kill each other. So let's punch. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's happening? Like, you know what I'm saying? But I, I think that right now these motherfuckers is divas, they hoes, and they might as well throw on heels and lashes because these motherfuckers be acting like bitches, bro. Like, but just... In my opinion, I can't like I ain't saying nothing no one for me to side because I'm saying if it was me and a motherfucker pulled up to my hood, let's get that out the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. yeah, like, I don't even want to think about it too long. Let's just yeah, get it. Like, 
let's get to it. Wait, bro, you doing too much, bro. Like, all right, bet you out here. Let's just, see, like Bams did what he was supposed to do, though. Like, they they said he wouldn't pull up, that niggas wouldn't pull up, and ah, uh, uh, man, he pulled up and humiliated, buddy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And 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 see, like me, I done, I done been around Bams in person whenever we did this the GT cipher. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was a Shimo Media cipher. Uh, you yeah. Went, I don't know if you checked it out. Yeah, but. But um, yeah, hell yeah, I'm the first one to go on that hoe. And uh, Baz wasn't on it, but uh, that boy Lil Raider was on. I got a song with Lil Raider too, and old boy BFD, the one that's kind of tripping right now, tweaking on y'all boys. <laughs> and uh, and uh, that's another situation. I, 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 like I said, I'm on the outside looking in, so I'll be like, damn, what's going on over there? You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, hell yeah, like I got a uh, what was I gonna say? I lost my train of thought. I ran in, I, you know, what I'm saying I met bro like formally, like once or twice, or I think it was just once that night. I was like, man, that like like buddy gonna beat the fat of lefty. Lefty look like he do drugs. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, lefty don't look like he can stand that pressure. Like he ain't finna just he ain't trying to do that. <laughs> Hell nah. So then but my whole thing is like, where do we go from here? Cause first we were like, oh, it was looking good for everybody. And then now there's like a lot of drama, even in Texas, everywhere. Like, can you think we can overcome all this tension and get get somewhere good? I think. Yeah. I think that hell no hell no because <laughs> because i feel like we in a different era bro where like certain said and done that just can't be retracted and people get disrespected like people are saying disrespectful things in a way that like there is no you know what i'm saying like because if you disrespect me bro like when you see me you gotta know like man yeah well, I ain't finna shoot at you. I ain't finna try to kill you. I'm gonna try to beat your whole ass up. If I can't get to you, I'm gonna try to beat up one of your partners. Like we might have to rock out, bro. Like, be, and that's why I carry myself as respectfully as I can, bro. I don't be trying to just like say no crazy shit about nobody. If I have an opinion or something, I'll speak on it, especially if it's something like that situation with Buddy, like, like where I feel strongly about it, I'll voice it. But like, you know, and that's just because of the perspective I have on it. But like, for the most part, bro, I'm man, it's all good with everybody. You know what I'm saying? As long as a motherfucker don't mention me, we good. Like, you know, I ain't nobody yet to even be mentioned. You feel me? So, man, man, yeah, man. but I mean, like, and that I, that's what I was trying to tell Lefty though. Like, he didn't need to do that. He he already had the look. He had a backing. He didn't have to say f the Norte or uh, get mad at Mexican OT and make himself look, kind of look funny in Texas. And yeah, like, you, know, you come into Texas, you better come in like a guest. Like, you're humble. You know, like. But he didn't. He came in like that's everybody owed him something. You feel me? Like yeah. Texas owes you something. Texas don't owe you. Northern California don't owe you nothing, bro. And not just that, like the niggas that you probably be with, like don't think that they could keep you safe everywhere you be at. Like you know what I'm saying? Texas, the age biggest. There's a lot of places where people don't hold no weight. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel me? Like I'm, I'm at, where I'm at right now. Like I'm, I'm on braids with guests. I'm on the braid. Like it ain't one single person that could just be like. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I could call any shop, bro. You see what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know. Like, that, that shit don't even work like that. Like, yeah. That, man, Texas got, what is it, uh, like two downtowns or whatever? Uh, I guess you could say that downtown. Kind of, well, what was like a Galleria and then one's like a downtown? Yeah, I live like 15 minutes from the Galleria. The Galleria is another. But yeah, for sure. We got different business districts and like. But if you're like, from Goto's building, you can see, you know, like how. Yeah, it's sure. like, damn, Houston's hella big, bro. Yeah, how huge. They don't even know. It's like one of the biggest cities in the whole United States, bro. He's a fourth. There you go. Fourth, yeah. dog, and it shit. feels like it. Uh, yeah. Hey, bro. But the humidity, though, dog. Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's, hot. Way. it's hot right now, homeboy. For real. It's hot to know right now. I'm bro, I, I went there and I got out and I told I, I asked Toes, I was like, is this a natural disaster going on? And he's like, <laughs> no, this is how it really is. I thought there was a natural disaster happening, bro. Yeah. Like a and he was like, no, and he, and he was like, this is a regular day. Yeah, it ain't even hot. It wasn't even hot, bro. It ain't hot right now. It's hot. It's like about 104. What? Yeah, oh. I don't know. And I can't do it. Humidity, like, you guys don't even. So, it, it be so hot. It make you get violent. You motherfucker be dying in the summertime. <laughs> but I'll be like, i just be like, nobody's talking about the weather. Like, yeah. you guys are used to it. Like, when the whole time I was there, nobody even said, like, hey, like, then nobody even said it was hot. I'm like, mama, I'm tripping right now. I'm yeah. really tripping. I'm really, like, worried about my life, you know? <laughs> and you guys were walking around drinking and having a good old time, taking shots in the middle of the day in the hot weather. I can't do it. I don't drink no more, but I couldn't do it back then. But uh, what I do like 
is how you can have no shirts on. You know, you can just be free. Just take your shirt off. Just Back I like how the, the women don't got no clothes on barely. I love the women, bro. The Texas women uh, shot you. <laughs> mm. No, for real. Have you uh have you uh, are you in a relationship? Oh yeah, I, I got my girl. She, she oh, that's back, cool. She's in the back making huevos and frijoles right now. Bro. Hell yeah, that's how that's a good thing, bro. That's how I was I, telling you. See, I ain't me first of all, I'm a real street dude, bro. Like I I I live a certain type of way, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be I ain't the type of person that and I ain't no pimp or no player that's so like ain't no beneficial to me to have like a, you know mm. what I'm saying, different women yep. dealing with them like nah, I got my Next. girl, we good, we solid, you know what I'm saying? And, that's how it should be. Matter I fact, tell all the homies. Today we've been together two years. Oh hell yeah! Congrats, bro. Yeah. I tell all the homies, bro. Like the grass is not greener on the other side. It's fake. Like if yeah, you got a good I, one, I got one of them. Like she's like when hooked up, going through. Like she hump right here. Take this. Take that. Like you know what I'm saying. Putting money on packs and things like that. Like you know, and believe in, in my motion and my hustle. And you know, thank God we're here today. <laughs> hell yeah, man! Shout out to the real ones out there. Uh, so then let's run it back a little bit though. How did you jump off the porch and why in terms of a little bit of the streets without giving details? And then how did you find music? Uh, damn, I, that shit, we were born off the porch. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. my mama and my daddy, they, my mom and my pops, um, they had us young. I think they had me at like 17 and my dad would like, First of all, let me say, like, the beginning stage of my life was cool. Like, you know, probably up until about six, seven. My mom my mom and my dad, they were together. They had their issues or whatever. But, like, we lived in the hood, but it wasn't, like, I wasn't exposed to nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, my dad either, he worked and hustled. And my mom, I think she worked, like, at Foot Locker or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, but then I want to say, like, around, my little brother was three. My dad went to prison the first time he went to feds. I, and uh, I think my mom was pregnant with my other little brother. We all three years apart type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like me and my my first two little brothers that my mom and my daddy had together. My dad went to the feds, I'm about nine, you know what I'm saying? I'm about nine years old and uh, yeah, that was the first thing. So when my dad went to the feds, like my mom really didn't have as much i want to say control over things because I'm, I'm i'm nine i'm still a kid but like i used to be able to go outside and play and like yeah. we live in apartment complexes i'd be outside playing and uh already at nine or ten i wouldn't be coming inside the house to about 11 you know like i was on some shit, you know playing with the kids in the neighborhood but i already had friends that were like 13 and they had friends that were 15 you know what i'm saying like just yeah. how that shit work you know like and um we should be running around doing shit around 10. my mom you know, she did what she did. She had a boyfriend who was a black dude. He smoked weed in the house. And uh, I picked up that first doobie, man. You know what I'm saying? And I started smoking. 10, 11. So 10, we're living in A-Leaf. My mom, she moved us. Uh, she moved to Spring Branch. She had moved to, like, uh, uh, like, we were living on the southwest side of Houston. She moved to the northwest. She was dealing with some other guy at the time. Like, it was, like, two years later. Fast forward, like, 11, 12. So I'm already smoking. I'm already like done been around older kids. I kind of have like a different, like, like you know, like I'm I'm more like um advanced than the other kids my age. I'm I guess I want to say I'm cussing. I'm more like mal criado. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of, in other words, like I was one of them little kids. Like, they ever see like the like 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 on, on, on I don't know like don't be a menace to society or like the little kids that be talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I was one of them. Yeah, that was me, you know what I'm saying? Like like straight up, like you feel me? So I guess like that's the first thing. Um, when my mom moved me to, to the to to see to Spring Branch, then my grandma had got a house like on, on Highway Six area in Bear Creek. And at the time it was a whole lot nicer over there. So when my mom was dealing with this other new dude, she had sent me and my little brother, my my, my brother Xavier, that's doing 15 years right now, free little bro type shit. She sent Free him. Yeah, hell yeah. Like he he they he just did eight. He he he'd been down for eight years, but he got caught with a phone. They gave him four more years on top of on top of his fifteen. He paroled out on the eight, but he didn't parole out on the four. So I don't know how that really works. I think it runs like concurrent. So like the fifteen gonna eat up the four, but that's when he'll be a eligible to see parole again. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's, yeah. it's uh, right, but um yeah, so look, uh, yeah. bro, went to, went to go live with my mom, with my grandmama, 
my grandma my, my grandpa you know they they don't even speak english over there and uh my my aunts my two tias so in the house it was my two tias my my, my one tia and her husband eventually when, when he moved in and then my grand uh, so so three my grandpa and my grandma but they had a, a nicer house you know what i'm saying and me, me and my little brother so we were like seven but it was a three-bedroom house so it was it was nicer though and uh you know we, i went to school in the katie area you feel me so like when i went to school like uh my mama moved us out like like at the end of fifth grade beginning of sixth grade so w- when i went to school like i want to say i started going to school and i and i felt like different than everybody like you know like i'm the only one that because it was a lot more like I, I never went even went to school with white folks before bro like mm. i ain't trying to be like that i just had like then it, it was like i went to one school there was one white boy in the whole elementary you know what I'm saying shit like that yeah. you know what I'm saying so like I, I it was my first time we wore uniforms in a leaf and that side of town so when we moved over there they dressed in like in their regular clothes you know what i'm saying but i'm wearing my uniform to school because that's really all i had like you know like khaki pants white polo style shirt maybe some white horses like whatever you know like some white converse whatever or black black and white converse whatever you know just some regular they making fun of me like why are you dressed like that and you know what i'm saying I'm, yeah. i feel like played you know what i'm saying so I, when so when my first school was like it was like the end of fifth grade so that's the, the elementary out here when they moved me to six like the summertime hit my mom's staying in spring branch right she's staying like like 15 20 minutes up the street but i'm living with my grandma so i want to say like when the summertime hit of a fifth going into sixth grade my mama moved to the apartments on highway six and and, and uh and keith harrow when she moved into the apartments um i start going to hang out over there you know what I'm saying because it's walking distance i could walk from my grandma's house to the apartment it's like a little 25 minute walk because you stay in the back of the neighborhood but i still walk and uh that's when i started meeting more people that were like they came from this neighborhood they came from you know what i'm saying so i'm like yeah. oh yeah i like it here like you know what i'm saying just it, it it felt more like natural you know what i'm saying so I, I wanted to hang out there more you see what i'm saying and like i'm not knowing that it's really me going back to my going backwards and forwards you know what i'm saying yeah, I'm, yeah. Little, I'm so little bro like all i know is like out here is more of a community of what i'm used to you know what i'm saying so i tell my grandma I'm like man i want to go live with my mom again so i'm moving to the apartments and I start meeting friends that smoke weed and they do their thing and you know other kids that wanted to gang bang and so now when we go into middle school like you know that's when everything happened and the same kids that used to make fun of me at this school they trying to dress like thugs and G's now you see what I'm trying to say yeah. and like I'm like what the fuck like this is weird bro like now y'all tripping you know what I'm saying boom but now like it, as far as like at that point everything that had happened this has been simple you know hustling little dollars to get a nick sack smoke bud but like i'm outside though every day you know what i'm saying now i'm in the apartments outside and and like hurricane katrina hit you know what i'm saying when hurricane katrina hit uh my whole neighborhood changed like you know what i'm saying because like what happened new orleans it hit new orleans yeah yeah oh they moved over yeah for sure. yeah okay and a lot of people were like buying up like you know they were moving into the apartments that i was living in and the surrounding apartments were we hung out in because like it in our apartments it was always mixed mexican and black you know what i'm saying but like when they moved in like it got really like it was like predominantly black for a while you know what i mean and um you know like that was my first time getting jumped from my like around that time getting jumped and beat up for like you know what i had on me type shit mm-hmm. and uh i remember like them boys they used to hang out like in in, in, the, in the back court of these apartments we would be hanging out in not the ones i lived in I saw about I had I had went and found me a fucking little 38 with a missing handle, a little ugly one, <laughs> ugly in a bit. So I shot they shot shot at the boom, 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 little six shooter. Shot ba 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 shot all six and took off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh um, yeah. that was the uh my introduction to violence, I wanna say. But I, we had always fought, you know, like in the apartments, you know, you, you fight, you know, so you have little kid fights, but like that was my first introduction to just like oh nah y'all like you know like you can either let them do something to you or you could do something back you see what i'm trying to say like so like, yeah and um i never wanted to be a victim so i became you know kind of like yeah, a, yeah, a predator sure. but you know and then after that like so like that's sixth grade seventh grade we start stealing cars i start hanging you know my mama she aware of the fact that we smoking weed now she don't want to give me no money she don't want to you know like I'm just regular ghetto we already broke you know what i'm saying like we already can't do shit. Like I'm already like going to school and he's hooked up ass clothes and you know what I'm saying? Like 
never really having new shit. And me and a couple of guys that I grew up with in my apartments, we started doing things like stealing cars, breaking in the houses, and you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature, going to juvenile for shit like that. And you know, that was just what it was. It was at first it was always just petty crimes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had somebody that would buy the cars that was still for like three, four hundred dollars. We'd be taking an old Toyota Camrys and you know, when you're a little kid and you're pulling up to the schoolhouse with eight, nine hundred in your pocket, you just yep. sold three, four cars this week, like or you we were breaking it, taking speed, you know, just little glue. To me, that's what I would call little kid, like little kid crimes, petty crimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then well, I wanna say like around in my early 20s you know what i'm saying I, I i start hustling i always like had a little hustle here and there you know we do what we do flip shit, hustle but like to the point where like oh we got a trap now you know what i'm saying like yeah. we got a spot we got you know and then from there it's just it's been up and down because the streets does what they really are they're not what these guys make it look like you know what i'm saying it's a lot of losses friends dying and you feel me like that people they never rap about that part though huh yeah i do pretty often you know what i'm saying but, uh, right. but um yeah so like i want to say that that's that's just how the streets played out and then we're rapping like even back in them times when my dad was around like you know i'm from the h like i'm, I'm you see i got how i got my hair cut it's a south side fade but it, it, it's already a little grown out like like you know and back then it would be more like a patch in the front i don't really go all the way to the front but i was one of them babies like with a south side fade you know what I'm saying my daddy like Road on road lax and road swangers, you know what I'm saying? He he born in Mexico, but uh he was raised on the southwest side of Houston, so he a he a H Town Wap though, you feel me? Like oh, yeah. real, like ride swangers, bang screw type of cat, you know what I'm saying? So as early age, like I fell in love with the culture, bro. Like this ain't something like I got a lot of homies, like their parents are Mexicanos way. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And like yeah, they didn't grow up in that type of uh like Mm -hmm. household like where you know what i'm saying it's it's eight because you know like 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 i said like it's two sides of me half of me is h town as fuck and the other half is mexicano that madre you know what i'm saying like uh -huh. so like my pops is where that originates from he's and uh as a little kid like it started reciting things right you know what i'm saying i'd be reciting rhymes and you know hitting the south side fade we got a little dance called the south side rough from you know what I'm saying little kiki song shout out little kiki the south side you know hitting the dance to it rubbing your head you know bobbing you know what i'm saying and like yeah so and then i think like six seven like i my dad would be on some shit like man but rap your own shit son rap your own shit like you with me so i started rapping my own shit, just like saying little shit. so i always had a love for it and uh throughout my life i have been around people that really took music serious but like i saw no future in it and and i grew up before the social media era you know what i'm yeah. saying so like i just was never like the type of person so like i've been man y'all tripping nigga. i'm a street nigga. i had some money fool Fuck yeah exactly I'm, like, I'm broke bitch. i gotta go ahead you feel me like my my because because i never been rich bro like i was that dude that started off flipping little shit and stretching a pack as much as i can because i gotta pay my bills bro i see my my the sureños that i told you i grew up beefing with they shot up my house when i about 17 so i had to move out you know what i'm saying because i like i said i used to man i used to whoop ass i ain't even trying to you know what i'm saying like because when i got into this gang banging lifestyle and things of that nature like i i wanted to fight like i like to fight i like to i like to fight as a kid yeah. like when it started getting serious on some gun place i ain't saying that like like i wasn't with it but i was just like on some damn they were, they, they were trying to kill me because i beat their ass like you know like so they shot at my mama house i had left like young you feel me like 17. i had got my first apartment and uh you know like i had to pay this rent every month now i gotta pay this rent every month now i gotta you know what i'm saying so like i never was rich bro like i just always was figuring out my hustle you see what i'm saying and like like so when a motherfucker be like like i had I, like i have a friend my boy hit fanatics he makes my beat shoots my music videos fucking records and everything he he grew up in the music like he 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 would always tell me like man you know you need to fuck with this shit. like you know what i'm saying and like i said i always had either had a job or hustle bro so like I, when i what i did was i was a metal stud framer and a drywall hanger you know what i'm saying like around 1920 i, I kind of got my act together and i started chilling and i started working and becoming more of a man you see what i'm saying so like um like i would just look at that shit like it's not it's not a it's not lucrative you see what i'm saying like i yeah. see y'all wasting all this money on this bullshit dream it's expensive bro. Like, to be a rapper too, yeah man. for sure and i'm like man, <laughs> and on top of that i'll get in the booth like all right like 
I used to live on Yellowstone and Cullen. That's that's in South Park. That's on the south side of my city. Or I think it's in South Park. But really, the area is just known as Yellowstone. I think it's South Lawn or South Bank, something like that. Anybody that that knows better than I do, correct me if I'm wrong. But I used to live on Calhoun and Yellowstone next to the uh, next to uh, Jim's Meat Market that burned down a few years ago in the Capitol Inn. Like really official with them Backstreet Boys. Like I was really out there. You know what I'm saying? When shit was hot, and uh, I built a studio for them boys on Cullen. You know what I'm saying? Cullen is is a, is a famous street in my city. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's like it runs through Third Ward and like all these neighborhoods that where these famous rappers are from you know what i'm saying but um like guys like scarface and things like that big uh but uh what was i gonna say um i built the studio over there and like these dudes were like so raw with it at the time already ahead of their time but not doing nothing with it and anytime i try to get in there i freeze i get nervous like it wasn't really like my like i don't want to say it wasn't my calling but i would say that like like you know i'm the only mexicano in there you know what i'm saying and like yeah i just would i get nervous i didn't feel myself yet and maybe i didn't go through enough yet or maybe i was going through my rapper journey at the time like seeing what i needed to see of this world before i could really put it into words the way i needed to you see what i'm trying to say so uh, like, yeah no so totally like, uh, absolutely so uh like all the opportunities that, that that had presented themselves in front of me to like really fuck with the music i would either shy away from or wasn't good timing or you know you know i have a million excuses to why i probably didn't but then when COVID hit i had um i was working i can hear the sirens life. in the background oh man the trenches my boy <laughs> <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah we live across the street from a fire fire uh, fire department and a goddamn police station all that shit right here too though so they'll be up all day but um i'm living in denver bro i miss all my friends but like I got my life together though, you know what I'm saying? Like I, yeah. I, I'm working. I got a really good job. I'm getting paid like thirty an hour, thirty something an hour. Like you know, like and but but COVID it hit, and I had got a I had had a went to go get tested, and I tested positive, bro. And bored at the house. I ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? You, I had these other guys from my neighborhood that was trying to start rapping that I knew weren't even really like that. They weren't even a factor growing up. Like y'all were the ones that were <laughs> weenies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my it turns up. like. My neighborhood was a suburb at first, and then it got turned into the trenches. Like anybody that knows, like Timber Creek, Highway City, Keith Harrow, all them little apartments right there. They, they, man, it's it's real now. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. You feel me? And like it's that's due to like guys like me and like you know the people that quote unquote terrorize the area. You know what I'm saying? So like, like and 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 so I know the mother was factors where we from. You know what I'm saying? Because it yeah. started changing in my time. You see what I'm trying to say? Like yeah. were nobody. You know what I'm like so. Anyways. Uh, um i start seeing that shit. i gotta do something you know what i'm saying i'm about to uh, put my cape on nigga. you know what i'm saying and that's why i did the same with the podcasting bro i'm like these fools are not the ones and uh i uh what's it called i had dropped a freestyle on goddamn on uh on facebook just back when i had a facebook i had dropped a freestyle on that hoe and uh i went to sleep and i came back and that bitch had like one point some k views and a few hundred likes mind you i'm a nigga that posts a picture and get 20 likes at the time I haven't yeah, had yeah, social media yeah. in eight years, bro. Not even a Facebook. You see what I'm saying? Like nothing, bro. Like off the map, like real, you feel me? Outside type of cat. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. like, I was like, what? but you know, at the same time, all my relationships with anybody that I knew was from human contact, not from, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Not from yeah. this world that we in now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, uh, yeah, that shit went, that shit went brazy. Like, like, like for just some random shit I did. You know what I'm saying? And like, I like, dog, I think I can do this, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? That same week I went and recorded the shit on I laid it on wax. And you know, it was a slow grind at first. You know, like I made me an Instagram and it was a slow grind. It's still a slow grind. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 in it, I'm in it for the uh what's the what's the name of that word? The uh uh the cult following, you know what I'm saying? The 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 fan base that spokes with me, not because of one song, but because I put out a bunch of work, you know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. like so like for that i feel like it's been a slow grind because you know my content is very like you know it's it's real like you see what i'm trying to say like i ain't trying to give y'all some shit to dance to like you might vibe out and rock out and fuck with it but like i'm giving you the real like you see what i'm saying so like yeah 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 but um you gotta you gotta you gotta be in there to love it though either way you feel me because like even for photography, I'll, I'll still do photography if I even if I don't get paid to do it. You know, I'll still like I tell everybody like if you like if there's twenty people or a thousand people, you gotta rock, you gotta you gotta hit that mic the same way. 
And if you're going to do this, you got to like really do it consistently and love doing it and enjoy it. So like Boto's tells fools a lot of times, some projects he does, doesn't always do heck really well. And other projects do really well, but he's having fun the whole time. So it's, it's worth it for him, you know, and it balances out financially also. So you got to just go into it for the right reasons. And if you're in the game for the right reasons, eventually you're going to get what you're looking for, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, like see me, like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I really, I love to make music. Like, I ain't the type of person to be like, oh, like, I just one day recorded my song and, you know, now that I, I've loved it since I was a kid. Like, this, this, this is like, because you got to understand, like, even from a child, like, that was the bonding that I can recall with me and my father. I, I ain't seen my dad in person since I was 11, 12 years old. We talk a lot, you know what I'm saying? I love my yeah. pops, like, but he deported him, Piedras Negras, with Aracuña. I ain't been back to Mexico since I was about 1920. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I ain't. My pops got a whole little sister out there. Like, you I, have a I, sister I, out there? Yeah, hey, yo. You got a, you got a, I got a little sister out there. Hey, oh, damn. Yeah, you got to meet her eventually, huh? Because you got all boys with you right now. Brothers, huh? Yeah, yeah, number of brothers. Yeah, I had all brothers. And then way down there, we, I had two baby twin sisters. So it was all boys for hella long. So. Yeah, so uh, the girls kind of uh, soften up the boys a little sometimes, so it'd be good to meet them. Yeah, for sure. But that one, we didn't grow up with it, so like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> a chaotic household, bro, for real. Hell yeah, yeah. all yeah. boys. Yeah, yeah, but um, like it's just it's and and and, and it's just something I've studied and watched, and like it's something that I feel like I knew I should have been big, but I didn't have the confidence in myself or in my life at the moment. Oh, and you know, like I started work rapping a little later, but like, man, bro, like, I swear they fuck with me. They can't fuck with what I'm talking about. They they can't like. Oh no, just 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 the fact that you can do what you can do in Spanish, fool, fools, can't, most of these fools can't even do that. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Uh, and then real quick, just because I gotta ask every Texas artist this, it's just. True. How, what are your thoughts on SPM? My thoughts on SPM? I grew up on SPM. Yeah, uh, it, I, I did. I, I did to a certain extent. I think that I think he is the best Mexican rapper to ever touch a mic. Hold on, let me do. Uh, yeah, I had I that one. Because look, bro, you gotta understand. Like, SPM was rapping in the '90s, right? In the '90s yeah. and early 2000s. If you listen to the bars that he was saying and the things that he was talking about and the way he delivered and the different like uh cadences and just like the cadence i like the and, cadence and, and, and the different like ways that they produce these songs and having people on the hooks like the, it's undeniable bro how could you say otherwise he could rap on the level of any tupac any biggie any any of those guys and you're not going to take that from bro now that's my opinion on that. My other opinion is, why do we do this? Like, all right. He got that girl pregnant. She was a, she was a child. You see what I'm saying? She was a child. Yeah. With all that being said, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's take it there now. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, he, he got that girl pregnant. She was a child. They, they say that she worked in the club. I seen the picture. She did look very mature for her age, if that is. The girl I wish I could see the picture because I feel like I'm pretty good. But when you're lit, bro, at a club and you're and you're uh, not expecting to be worried, about, the whole point about going to a club is because you know everybody there's supposed to be overage. That's the point. There's, um, there's a lot of rumors that got to do with that case that are very like mm, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, like for instance, like even because there was two cases, bro. The first case was a uh, from what I know, right? From what I've studied and like. Like, you know, like this information that I've heard from other places, you know what I'm saying? Like bloggers and like, you know, like like the baby bash interview on DJ Vlad and, you know, things like that. Wasn't uh, the first case was with a nine year old girl that was friends. Oh, well, you know, like they're from the same neighborhood. He, he, him, SPM and his wife were cool with the mother and the father of the little girl that had the sleepover. And I guess like, you know, they tried to say that she wanted to go home. He took her home and like that. You know, allegedly that that he had some type of sexual, like like try to like, you know, molest her or something. I'm not really sure if he fawned on her, try to penetrate her. I don't because I don't know what 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 the rumor is that that, that happened to good. But I know that like a lot of people said that 
that they all knew each other, that SPM had that his partner's girl, you know what I'm saying? And like, just, you know what I mean? And she tried to blackmail him and, and that's the first thing. So like only God and that man knows what happened with that situation. Right. Because that's the one that he was, had dismissed, I believe. And yeah. And then the other situation is with the girl in the club that was um, a minor that he had got pregnant and had the baby with, you know what I'm saying? Has a child with, I believe at 21, 22, 23, I'll be able to tell you what a 13 year old looks like. Yeah, me too. Um, I can't get past. That's the part I can't get past, bro. Cause yeah. even in the club though, I feel like I would have questioned. And that's the part that I can't. I can't. Cause I, you know that there's those, those petite Latinas that, that are 19, 20, 21. They look young, but they, they, in their face, they don't look 13 though. They look, so but most they look at 16, 17. So but what 13. you're saying is exactly my sentiments on that. Right? Yeah. Now, mind you, I just told you, told you this man, can rap with any Tupac and any Biggie, right? Mm -hmm. But I also tell you that we don't fuck with them type of cases down here mm -hmm. either. You know, like we don't like I don't condone that you were found guilty of it in my state. If you found guilty of that type of with you, we gonna get on your ass the same way that y'all would out there. Don't think that we giving free passes for that type of hope. It ain't going down like that. SPM was green lighted by the Hugh Stones and the Thongo Blast, which is the biggest Chicano gang in the prison, te Texas prison system. Um, I know this because my father is one of them, and through other rumors and people that I know personally, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I think that if, if you and you knew she was a little girl, you, and this don't make anything right, but like, we do that shit to our people. We'd be so quick to do it to our people without having all the facts. But like, you don't see black folks doing that shit to R. Kelly. They still, I mean, they, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, they or at least they didn't do it like that. They just, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, all California, like, I feel like even in my state, they just went straight to it. Cause I'm like, yeah, well, sure. what happened to it? I get it now that he's guilty, but, but even you know for, why? And, and in my opinion, the reason that a lot of these, especially california rappers like down south rappers the, the the southern ones that are that are like super vocal about it are the ones whose career was never in the position that his was so they're taking this opportunity to kick a man when he's down facts Fuck. if you don't mess with spm you don't mess with them you don't gotta yeah, speak on it you don't need to be the the you know like the 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 regulator for all regulators like there's enough regulator texas will regulate itself we don't need to get involved that, like aren't y'all the most pussy ones like y'all ain't on that cool <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? like i'm telling you i know what's happening out there for real you know what i'm saying like shout out to my boy Conejo. i was yeah, in a music I, video I, I, with he, you know he put me in a music that. video knowing where i was from bro i was like yeah. big, people don't just do that yeah 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 so like now nah, that's love but um that's my opinion of it. Uh, yeah. That's probably the best one I've heard so far because most people will just kind of pick one or the other, but it's really a mixed bag. It's like separate music, good. There's nothing denying it. Boom, person. It's all weird, but he's guilty, and that's it. For me, if you're guilty, like a lot of people say things about me, but I got my name meta verified, Google my name through any kind of anything. Cause I do security, you know, I run a security company, so they think I'm like a cop and all this, but you know what I mean? I'm out here with the people. I'm out here protecting you, you from your cousins. Yeah. I'm out here protecting you from your own cousins in the quinceanera. Cause you guys are all drunk, <laughs> but, but so, but my name's meta verified, you know what I mean? And, and so, uh, I just be like, for me, that fool went to court and his people, the state of Texas found him guilty. Now I do believe in like institutional racism and I do believe that because when Gold Toes went down there, he said, bro, I never in California or in Texas met a man that had that, a brown man that had that much power. When he would say move to one place, Houston would move. When he would say go to this concert, everybody went. He could do that. And when police, when he said F the police, the whole crowd 20,000 people could say that and texas police were not texas cops they ain't going for that what's the texas rangers they ain't going for that because they've been racist since the beginning you know so i believe that it was a mix of a lot of things it was also to try to bury a powerful man and that powerful man had his own issues that he should have dealt with before he got famous but it happened it, you know you don't choose how you get famous 
So he had just demons that maybe he didn't deal with, and it is what it is. But I do believe that there was a power. It had to do with power in, in the state of Texas. Yeah, for sure. Because they let because they let Kelly get away. They let R. Kelly get away for with it for a really long time. She like look, look, check, check game. Nuestra raza siempre hemos sido revolucionar revolucionarios, way. Yeah. I've always been the type of gente that if we can form something and stand together, they can't fuck with us. See, like they got that division culture embedded into the black folk, into the black community so much they like they can let somebody like R. Kelly get away with something for so long, be powerful because he will not, he he wouldn't try to build anything with his power structure. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Other than, 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 than things that benefit mostly him. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But a Mexicano, the way we rock, the way SPM was doing it, he was getting every, he was putting everyone in position. See what I'm trying to say? So like everything's a possibility, homie. Yeah. Yeah, well we'll see what happens. I mean well, everybody's yeah, how I feel. I, I yeah. feel like it's def definitely a power thing. And and homie had demons. Fuck demons, you fucking with little kids, bro. Like <laughs> I don't <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It's even worse. It's monsters. Like, we gotta, we gotta fuck. I, I'm I'm the type of person I call it for what it is. If you was wrong, you foul, you sick, you twisted. I I'll give you all the rap accolades in the world, bro. But you know what I'm saying? But it's just... it's. it's I just terrible. don't get it either, though, even on the sick level, because, like, I guess you're just sick. Because even when I... Because I, I, I look young... I'm, I'm 41, bro, but when I get my hair cut and shit, I be looking... Girls be thinking I'm 30, and sometimes these females be looking like 25. So I met a girl that's 21, 20 even, you know what I mean? But I be checking IDs. I be checking in with her first. I know that sounds crazy, but I be making sure... I'm, I'm, hey, a, very, I'm a very, like, attracted to mind type of person. Yeah, I be checking in though. Hey, are you yeah. are you right here with me? Yeah, you feel I me? Like, I, I'm gonna know like by your conversation, by you know what I'm saying. Like my girl, she's younger than me. I'm I'm, I'm she's 27. You know what I'm saying? So like, like like yeah, but she right here with a nigga. She's still yeah grown. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it be something. And women mature like faster too, for the most part. Yeah, for sure. So like, I, but I'm just on some shit. Like if I can't you like if i can't like vibe with you on a mental level bro i ain't even gonna fuck with you bitch because you feel what i'm trying to say like don't turn me on like that this dick shit is nothing you know what i'm saying uh -huh. especially yeah. when, right when you're not you're you already know you're like we live you in want the world with, like everything nowadays you know what i'm saying like facts i ain't from this world the motherfucker from you know what i'm saying like i i hold myself to a different standard bro like i'm really like man i i i, I i've been trying to practice discipline see the only thing that i i that, that prevents me from saying that is because I gained a lot of weight since I've been home. I ain't been getting my routine on, but like as far as mental discipline, like on, on certain shit, like I don't do drugs, I don't get high, but I smoke weed, you know what I'm saying? But I don't pop no pills, I don't sip no lean. And I was the worst one, like you feel what I'm saying? I that mean, lean boy. Yeah, I was the worst one. I'm talking about I used to pop seven, eight Zans a day, sip a fucking four a day. Popping yeah. yeah, popping Roxy's and fucking. I don't even know how you guys could hang. We'll have you out. At the end of the day, I'm zombified out, ready to sleep. Dude. I'm knocking back. I'm knocking back Adderall throughout the day to be able to uh, jump back up. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I live like this for a really long time, and then like I went to jail for an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon case that I didn't even do, bro. Like you know what I'm mm. saying? Some pussy ass mother snitched on me. Not even snitched on me. Told the laws I did some shit I ain't do, and I knew I was gonna lose and. Instead of like trying to go to trial or whatever, like I had got the case reduced and signed for some time. But when I had to go turn myself in, I was living my life like this every day for more than two years already. You know what I'm saying? When I went to the county and I had to sit down for a little year, I got down throwing up shit. I'm full of opiates. You know what I'm saying? I'm every yeah. time opiates, bro. So like, you feel me? Like I was, I was good, bro. For sure. And I, don't, I don't do none of that shit. Like I don't. I don't, I don't with the drug. I don't even, you feel me? None of that. Like, I'm cleaning the bitch. Now, next is just get my eating habits more together. And get oh, that's me. Out. I just love cheese, dog, and bread, homie. Bags. Munches, way. And tortillas, también, way. No, ah, fool, with mantequilla, dog. Fucking butter, fool. Nah, straight up, fool. That's the shit. <laughs> hey, wait, but you better get on it, though, because the older you get, that metabolism, boy, you be feeling that super nah, burrito. Right now, <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> it's real though. Look, I'm I got big I used to climb mountains. I'm talking about. I be hey, it's beautiful like, up there. It wasn't that long ago. You know what I'm saying? I, I man, yeah, but yeah, yeah. 
Like a motherfucker. This damn city, man, is good food. Good ice time. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I, that's another thing. I'm not going to say, dog. I don't know. Because the thing over there is that you guys got some bomb ass fajitas. You feel me? Yeah. But then, like, you guys don't really be having the burritos like the fucking the way we be having them over here, though. So, but I give you, I'll, I'll say this you guys got the best fajitas, but I feel like we got the best tacos. But that's just my shit. Yeah, I feel like y'all y'all got some good tacos. I, I, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, yeah. Real quick, uh, you still got a little more time on the charge? Are you yeah, straight? Nah, I'm putting this whole on the charger right now, like, but like back where I was type shit. Oh, uh, hell I'm yeah. Scary. I didn't like that seat. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Uh, you know, I was been noticing is, do you think D Baby gets more respect than Mexican OT in the in Texas? As far as what I think, I think just I like think I feel like, like they look at Mexican OT like he's kind of like not a street or he's kind of like a D Baby not a street. That's what I was wondering. Like, isn't like, it? Like, so like, can like, you break I mean, down these two no artists a little bit? He ain't no gangster. He ain't no G nigga. He ain't never popped this shit. He ain't never like. Where where, no where is he from though? Like what what I'm area? Now nah, look, let me tell you like this. I, my people from the branch. From Spring Branch, so like, without just going to getting too like deep into it, like, yeah, they from one side of the branch. We from you know, say my my folks from the other side of the branch. Like the people he deal with, don't fuck with, with the people that I deal with. You know what I'm saying? Little shit like that. Like, but um, I mean, to my knowledge and the things that I know from people that are from the streets, like bro, grew up poor, didn't have like you know what I'm saying. His mama was supposedly on drugs or like I, that's from what I heard, right? Like you know what I'm saying. I, I've heard he had it hard basically. You know what I'm saying? I can't really talk about that man's facts. Matter of fact, let me not even do that. Um, Shout out to him. Yeah, we just yeah, you can leave that in there. But, uh, but, we just but what I heard, right? This is just things I've heard from. Yeah, people. we're just you know talking about that. And like, 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 um, uh, and uh, from what I know, like, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't the one. You know what I'm saying? Like on that. But um, I, I feel like he's a first person. Like he's seen it in first person, though. You know what yeah, saying? that's like, enough, though. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts, facts. You're uh, experiencing it. You're still like, experiencing you're about the life. Respect, like, like, I think that just more street people like his music, and more mainstream people. Well, I, no, I, you can't even say that because damn main the the big like D Baby is has success in these mainstream markets as well. I think what it is is maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm I, wrong. I, though, I, but I, I get that, that perception. OT, it's just like a funnier character. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. He's a funnier character. That's what it is. He has and comedy, he, though. Yeah, Rock, Rock, baby is, is <laughs> has has more of an arrogant character. Ah, let's see. You might be a good podcaster, bro. <laughs> but you know what I mean, though, because I feel like I was getting that vibe from people, like they were nah, kind nah, of. Feeling... It ain't that. It's that. It's that. Uh, it's it's it's, it's D Baby's arrogant, and, and it's not a bad. Ah. I don't. I'm not saying it in a bad way. No, no, no. I feel you. I like, feel like it. his his arrogance, his, I can't yeah. his demeanor, his you know what I'm saying? That like he's not exactly a people person. Yeah, you know Mr. T's more humble and shit. Yeah, like and, 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 and I feel like both work for each individual. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, no, 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 you're right. Yeah, like that's my opinion on that. But uh who, who's who's bigger in the city though? You say what? Who's bigger in the city though? In your city. Not I'm not Texas, because he's from there, though, right? Yeah, he actually from the H. Like you know that's why. So he has a little up on him. How and far I is Bay City believe, from over I there? I also believe that, uh, like more, like all right, like deep, like Mexican OT. I, I feel like D Baby has more of like a a mixed audience, like in my city, like all the, the hood trap dudes really listen to bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, like. Like the guys that are really sitting here selling drugs all day, like bagging shit up, they they actually listen to bro. You see what I'm saying? That's, That's what I want to know. I want to go into a trap and just be able to, you know, put my little ear in. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> but shout out to my nigga Young Easy though, man. Shout out my nigga Easy. I, I I ain't never gonna just big nobody up and not shout out my nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? My nigga really like that. Really like expose motherfuckers' hands and shit, and really like let it like let the world see. You know what I'm saying? For those who are paying attention to what's really going on, like. Buddy ain't like that. These niggas not like that. Yeah. Do you think there'll be a somebody that's really like that? Like you? Do you feel like you could do it? Do you it feel like me. shit? I hope it could be me. I hope um and and see like really like that is like a like a like really bad way of putting it. I feel like, but do I feel like the day that somebody who like really like all right, you know what Ten K is? Yeah, yeah. I like his like, music. Like, let's use him for an example. Ooh, he was him. Yeah, good. He was he was everything he embodied. Look where he at. Yeah, I like his but music like, too. It's it's like I respect. Yeah, 
for different you know reasons. Saying? Like, 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 because why? Because the motherfuckers ain't. They just, they just trying to, um, they just trying to win like everybody else. It is that's trying to rap. They trying to make a better way for themselves. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, so like either either or is respectable. You feel me? Like. Where where was the that guy Weddle Ten K from? Because I really like to read. I think he was from a Jersey Village, Cypress, Northwest area. From to my knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Like like he from kind of like close to the area I grew up in. So like he grew up mixed environments as well. You know what I'm saying? He 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 made me not want to be a videographer. If you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> you ain't you ain't peep what I said on that on that cumbia song. Uh probably not. I say strap to the shoot. They won't do me like Ace. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just was like, bro, Apple was outside really knocking down videographers and grandparents and shit. Yeah. They weren't even their grandparents. They still doubled back because they thought it was them. Uh <laughs> it's weird. It, it, it when you're from the streets, there's like this uh respect, but this dark comedy to it all, right? Like, like yeah, yeah, for you sure. You gotta you gotta kinda laugh at it or or you're gonna get sad about it almost. I'm to pop a nigga grandma ass with this bitch like yeah, like, Imagine, sure, like yeah. Dude, really? it's, it's, it's the arrogance, bro. It's the arrogance, it's the it's the pride, the arrogance, the the fucking uh, you know, the ego commercialized grim reaper in the hood. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, bro. Like he he like Weto 10k was like that the emoji, the purple devil. Yeah, he's like he's like, like really that guy. So, do I think that there will be another guy to, to, to be on that in the city? Hell yeah, it's between of us, nigga. It's between of us. Um, I just feel like like Big Tony. That's one of them. Like street dude. You know what I'm saying? Doing. But you got, you got you got you got like even though you said you're thick, but you carry it well. Like I'm a photographer. I can say these things. But uh, like you're photogenic. You know, you're handsome man. You you gotta be handsome. You uh, you you almost can't make it if you're not handsome. I'm sorry. Somewhat handsome. A little handsome. Major talent and major personality and a fanatic work ethic. Those four yeah, things right. I think you need to have. You gotta, you and gotta be teachable. Up. And be teachable. No matter the age. Those are the things that I need. think you need to become a superstar. And there's usually one or two of those things that they fall off on. Yeah. And then leaving the street life behind the moment it's you so become. It's hard to embody all that in life. It is. And be like, and, and, and be focused on, on, on your path, bro. On your, because man, bro, like, I, I just in a little bit of time that I've done music, bro. Like, yeah, I understand. Like, I got real going on out here. But I'm yep. just to change. I just had to change a fuel pump on the only vehicle I own right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, I'm stuck. I, I'm getting stuck in the middle of the street. Fucking want to crank on. Like, just this week, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm human as knowing that, that, that you you better than everybody. I don't give a fuck. I'll say it. They can't go me. Like, bar for bar, really spitting, really popping my shit. They can't fuck with me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and 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 that's just how I feel. I feel like everybody should feel that way. Um, but like to know that and to be going through real regular life, bro. Sometimes it just it gets real. You know what I'm saying? Or like, no, that's the just, real shit you said. All interview though, bro. Because the same with me. Like I know podcasters that are popping right now. That if they sat with me, I would destroy them on this mic. You feel yeah. me? But I also I'm a father. I got things. I got a little. I got a little six year old right there waiting for me after this. You know what I mean? Uh, we about to go to the little jumpy playhouse thing, and like yeah, I got real. And I've been up since this morning because I was protecting one rich family from another rich family on some construction situation. But I got paid well and provided. But it's like I want to be doing things like this, like you know, helping the culture. But I do this on my on my free time. You feel me? But I just be like, damn, that's why. But I but I but I told myself it's, it's all good though. At least you throw your at least like I just shared something. The people that boo are not in the game. You feel me? Like we're on the field at least. At least, at least we're on the field. Whenever you're on that pump, you get on that pump and you're like, man, fuck. You know, I'm. I'm I feel like a real peasant right now because I be feeling that way sometimes. Yeah, for sure. And I just, sure. yeah. But you got to know that. Bring that king mentality. You feel me? And just like bring it out. I'm and then, him. You really? Did. Yeah. And him goes through a lot because you're him. Oh. Only hims can deal with the him issues. You know what I mean? And back, just back. keep it pushing, bro. And just know that just how we're connecting, you're going to connect with like-minded people. And what I always respected is vatos that are not scared to like, right now you brought that up. Why I like podcasting is it breaks away from all this music video, cool, tough guy, whatever. Yeah, Cause as a person. photographer, as a photographer, I would meet a lot of these fools. And I was like, man, these fools aren't really like that. They're like, most of them are clowns. They're like buffoons of their other people. But then when you meet a real one, 
it inspires you, you know, and you're like, oh man, I'm going to work with this dude. And then, and then, it, you know, it, it gets, you get, it's fun and exciting and stuff. So I just think that like, as long as we're in the game, we're going to be in the game no matter what. As long as, as long, I just don't want to be on the sidelines ever. You know, I want to be in the game playing, you know, no matter what, even if I'm second, even if I'm like not the star player anymore, but I'm still in the game, even if I'm stubbing in for the second half, I'm in the motherfucking game though. You like, feel like when I tell my Lapana to be rapping, I say, uh, it don't matter, fool, which one of us gets us into the end zone. Like, yep. it don't matter we who the pass, who receive that matter, bro. What matters is being on the winning team, fool. Yep. That's, exactly. That's, that's, that's the shit that matters. We're going we gonna to take home the same trophy, blood on WSP. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fact. Yeah, like. That's why I be defending my boy Gold Toes against all these haters. I got Bozo hating on BFD. I, I got Southerners hating on Northerners hating on all these gangster Karens. Why? I was like, why, why don't you worry about yourself? You feel me? But yeah, I'm, I'm Gold Toes is too big for that. Was like, dude was super respectful and very docile, like like a good person. Like you know, like I I, I knew that he could rap his ass off, but I, I didn't think that like that you would be getting on Toes' ass like that ever in the future. You know what I mean? And, like, oh, BFD? One, of bigger, one of my bigger features is a song with them guys, like, you know what I'm saying, with him and Little Raider. Like, I don't know where Little Raider stands on none of this either, but, like, what I do know is, like... Shout out to him, though. Yeah, shout out to bro. Shout out to bro. Like but what I do know is, like, it's hard for me to, like... Because I'm a very pick your side type of nigga. Yeah, me too. I'm a very, I'm a very, like, like... Your enemies are my enemies. Yeah, we over here, we over here, fuck them. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, I'm outside like, with you, we're outside all the way. Yeah, like, I ain't really the type of person to, like, like I, I don't believe in that monkey in the middle. Because you're going to nope. get me back Pick door. a side, pick a side, motherfucker. Yeah, you know? yeah you're going to get me back door playing like that. Yup. Like, Facts. So like, Thank you, dog. Hold on. Facts, <laughs> my mama. So, like, on the outside looking in, it's like, I know that these are, like, politics that have nothing to do with me. But toes is somebody I could call, like, Personally, you know what I'm saying? Tulsa did things for me. You know what I'm saying? So like so you feel what I'm saying? Like, like, and if I'm up, if I'm a, if I'm around my boy and the motherfucker get disrespected and the talk crazy, well, I'm gonna rock out with my boy. And I think yes. I think that's and I and, and and like I think that I apply the same to the virtual world. You see what I'm trying to say to this internet shit? Like I apply the same, like you know what I'm saying? So I ain't saying like fuck anybody because Tulsa ain't ever put that battery in my back, but if that's what it got to be, that's what it got to be. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, well, how it is for me is Toes woke up. I, I, I literally gangbanged to his music, bro. And I yeah. didn't even know him. I didn't even know him at the time. But, like, Toes is a real good dude, you know? And you know when you got them good dudes? It's like if somebody was walking up and disrespected one of your bigger homeboys. And you're like, no, 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 hold up. I got this. Like, I got this. Like, yeah, yeah, back. Yeah. I got this. Like, let's sit, like, ain't doing no punching. Yeah, let me let me get let me let me get into this. You're more, you know, you're closer to me. So, so and and I'm like, I'm your huckleberry, homie. I'm your, I'm your, I'm, I'm petty, and I let that vato know. There's double punches. I sent the address to a boxing gym, homie, that we could get it in just on with some gloves, you know, because he's I, I, what I don't like is uh the super gangster, you know, like I'm so super cholo, homie. Like you, you should know that the, he did 20 years. He should know that the streets can touch you. Just the same as any man. Who are you talking about? You know uh, oh yeah, yeah. A BFD. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like like I, I don't understand you do 20 years and you don't know how to be humble or just make a phone call. If you had so many issues with him, why wouldn't you just get out of him like the, the so G like, that you... so my question is this that you you're more in tune, like when all this shit was happening happening before it happened, because like you said, a phone call, right? Like because like I said, I met these people through through go toes, you know what I'm saying, and like um, and it was all love, you know, it was very respectful. Bro was a very humble, respectable vato, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what I'm saying is, like, you don't believe that there was not even a phone call to be spoken upon the issue prior to it becoming public? That's what I'm saying, no. And that's why I'm, there wasn't, and that's what's so surprising to the toes. It was just, was like, like, off the rip, like, nigga, fuck what you talking about, fuck what you doing, you want some whole shit. Yeah, because... He just they feel that Toes is giving too much attention to the South, and it's like, bro, this is business. This but has nothing Toes to do with North Daniel, South. right? Was he? No, 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 he is, bro. He is okay. Okay, so like, like no, he's no, really, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna say his neighborhood, but just straight up Toes, and he's okay with me saying this. He is one, and he comes from an actual neighborhood, bro. See, like, he just Toes doesn't put it out there. Like, Toes is 50 years, like, 50 I, I years old. I, I, I've never like heard him, I've never asked him as well. 
So like, yeah. I just always thought like he grew up in the hood around him and like, no, what, he's what, a what, member. Yeah, for sure. Um, he's just fifty one, bro. That doesn't take away from shit. That doesn't take away. But from you know shit. what I mean, though. He's fifty one. Fifty one year olds yeah, yeah, ain't yeah, gonna that, get that, into like that those kind point. of conversations. He's, a, he's he's old enough to be people's grandfather, bro. Y'all tripping? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's he, trying to like make money and 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 kick doors down so we could all make money. You see what I'm saying? And, and he's so just he's doing business. That's yeah. why I was trying to tell people you can't bring like BFD. He can really rap. I was giving him a compliment about being on a California compilation that he should that Gold Toast has been doing for years compilations and that the Bay Area does a lot. And he got mad at me and tried to tell me to take it down. I was like, pr- I, I was like, tr- make me take it down. You know, I pressed him back. I was like, make me. And then he got all like, oh, we're supposed to be nah, nah, homie, make me. You're a public figure, make me. I started pressing him, and he didn't want none of that. You know, and then he, then he goes on a new song, dissing toes con- and disrespecting the South like a little kid. Like, and, and bro, they're both GT lazy and, and BFD are GT artists. That song is going to give Gold Toes money. So when he disses Gold Toes, he's giving him money. And it's just weird, bro. It's just weird activities, homie. And I'm not the one. I'm not a super guy. I never went to prison. I went to college, bro. I never even talked about gangs. But at the same time, I'm the type of vato that, bro, if you disrespect, I'd be like, Hey, nobody's gonna say nothing. Well, yeah. I'm gonna say something. You feel me? And and so, cause the thing with me is, I grew up in the '90s. I'm 41 in the real '90s, where everybody had to make a name for themselves with literally no Dude, internet, bro. In yeah, we had, but we had no internet. Yeah, exactly. So you know, teenagers so then it was coming up, but it wasn't like it is now, right? So you had to make a name for yourself. So my whole thing is, give me the fair one, and we can keep running fades, unless or just. You know, have a coke and a smile and shut the up. You know what I mean? And, and worry about your own music. Don't worry they, about they it, what never, another man is doing. They're trying to get on my nigga Shimo Media for, 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 for the same type of t- time, right? The same type of things. And they're all doing business. Like, yeah. like say I'm doing security. Shout out to Shimo too. That's my dog, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell like, yeah. Shout out to Shimo. I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But Shimo's yeah. dope. Shimo's dope. He's a businessman. He's doing he business. Because he's trying to even put help me get in position to win. Me and him got shit going like man like you know i see he's trying to become a staple in other cities and shit and i and i and i vision and, and my vision from what i see like 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 i see him finna go up and shit that we can help him have some type of motion out here in texas and it can benefit me and you know open doors for me man i'm gonna i'm on that with bro already we have conversations you know what i'm saying like hell yeah shout to shimo you know what I'm saying? Shout, shout to shimo though man he's doing his thing my thing is is uh that's all I'm trying to say is don't bring street. Cause like, say I'm doing security, bro. Like these people that hired me to do security, they didn't ask me what neighborhood I grew up before they did business with me. They just like my service. And so they bought, they bought my service from me. Right. They didn't ask my background like that. So like, if we're going to do music together, we just shouldn't have to worry about all that. I do understand if you're rapping about street stuff, then, you know, there's a code of conduct, you know, in terms of everybody being on the, you know, not dropouts or this or that, whatever. Like, like, like it's certain people God I would have with because of my street politics, but I'm not gonna disrespect you. Like yeah, you keep it pushing. Or or see them in the streets about like, it. Or, you know? or I might even think like like a lot of these rappers are pussy as fuck. Like like as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Certain ones that are popping from my city, I might think you a bitch really in real life. You know what I'm saying? But like if you got good music and you keeping it pushing and you taking care of your family, that shit don't even matter, bro. That don't matter to me. Exactly. It, it don't matter to me because I'm not in a situation with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. And bro, you know I mean? we've been we left the streets because the streets are so much drama, and they always win. You always lose in the end. That's why all of us are dreaming to get out of the streets, and then we recreate the streets on the internet. Oh hell, nah, bro. What? Well, well, I got one of these. Man. Uh, but uh yeah i don't know where we're going but so i was gonna ask you real quick uh and and maybe not getting too much into like actually naming it you know but uh does your would you consider that your 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 grouping of people like a black group or is in texas is it an everybody group or is it a mexican group or is it just the the, the, gang yeah i I, I like to be i I don't want to be like because like you know i'm I'm gonna 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 give you the real before because i don't want anybody to even like Confuse it. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. Like Pa Roo. My big homie from Bompton, really from Rosecrans and Farmer Lee, like one tray four, one four two, hundred and forty second, hundred and thirty fourth. You know what I'm saying? Four line and the deuce line. Like I'm really like 
WSP. You know what I'm saying? My big homie, his daddy was one of the original Pyro Street boys. Like I have real California connections, which is why I pay so much attention to California politics and things going on out there because the ties that I have are out here now. That's the first thing. We have a small circle out here, a small section of homies out here. We ain't too thick, right? We're not too deep. Because, like I said, my big homie from out there, and we started our little thing of ours, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that's that's first, right? I, I, I got put on when I was about 19, 19, some shit like that. And uh, before that, I was in a Mexican gang. I, not in a Mexican gang. But I, I, like I was kicking a, it. I was a supporter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, kicking it. We call, in California, we, we call it kicking it. Yeah, I was a supporter of a Mexican gang, you know what I'm saying? A local Mexican gang at that. Um, they call themselves JQA Trece. They red rags, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, not to be associated with any Treces out there or Southsiders. It was just like Trece from Mexico. It don't matter. I mean, I got some of my best friends are Southsiders now, bro. Nah, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm just giving you the rundown of how yeah, yeah, yeah. Of shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I never got put on. I never got put on because it was little situations like people would be hating on me because I looked like I was white or like, especially back when I was young. You don't look white at all. Now, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, or like either that or, uh, you know, they said I acted too black or like little whole shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I never got, and then on top of that, like, so like when I became of age, like 15, 16, and I started going to juvenile and doing all, doing my own, like I said, like my city's not like a, and this is a spring branch gang, right? And shout out to my J's. I got real Jake two A's I be with. Like D Baby, he be with the with so with a nigga named Payaso. Like he's an SB Trece. Like, you know what I'm saying? Those are like ops, like enemies, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Big, like, you know, fuck, you know what I'm saying? It's it's so that's that's where the street part of that be mean? Uh Spring Branch Trece is, is for the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? And and but they're both gangs from the same neighborhood. It's just they from a few blocks this way, and my guys are from a few blocks that way. You know what I'm saying? So like I like this is how you know it's still respectful and it's still like it's not on no dropout or no whole ass shit like that. Cause them same guys that I told you that I used to run with as a youngster, it's still all love. They they will still put in work with me if necessary. Like I still be with the OGs from that gang. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want it to look like, oh, like he not good nowhere. But but like it was just, you know, I never got put on in the first place and I start getting around. Like shit, so Spring Branch and Highway Six, they like fifteen to twenty five minutes away, depending on which way you take. So like, in my area, in my neighborhood, there was like that presence of this gang wasn't really felt as much as my circle and the guys that I was with. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. As far as like my black homies, what I'm trying to say is, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a black gang. I'm in a black gang. You know what I'm saying? I'm West Side Piru. Like, but I have other youngsters yeah. and other people that I be with that are in local blood gangs, blood factions as well that are Mexican that you will see me with. Like in that whole video, the Cumbia video, they're all my little my little young homies, but they're Pyrus, but they're Pyrus from another mm -hmm. Texas organization. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so like, yeah. and, and it be like that. And, um, but me, my, I'm very close to like Bompton roots, LA roots, you know what I'm trying to say? I never been out there. Um, I want to go out there and, and, you know, tap in with the homies and shit, but like, my 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 little partner, you know what I'm saying? My shout out my nigga Demon. He's out here right now. He from he from out there, like you know what I'm saying? Been out there thugging in the hood. He I be with with him. Yeah, like I've been day. on those streets that you were talking about. I've been on those streets. It's yeah, funny. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like I like you know. Parma Lee, I know I've been on. Yeah, the, my there. my gang banging can't really be like checked by anybody. Like like on some like oh he falls whatever you know what I'm saying? Just because man, we could run down through there and figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And like. A lot of people they don't have like these roots that tie back into what we like to call in Texas the land, like I do. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. But, but do uh, people I hate on that a lot? Because there's all kinds of there's Hoovers out there, there's Cribs, there's everything, right? Um. Yeah. We. So got, uh, what I'm saying is, do people hate on because they're California gangs? But at the same time, there's hella California gangs out there, so it's not like you're. Nah. You guys are, uh, I'm locked right. in with a lot of the rules from my city. Like, I respect all the Texas bloods and power rules. Like, it ain't, you know, like, I think as a youngster, like, like you know, like, when I first got put on, um, I was very, like, like man, y'all ain't on what I'm on, though, nigga. I'm really on, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I did carry myself boastful about it. But uh, after being in jail a few times and really having the politic with the guys that are from your place in your city, you realize, like, shit, we're not even big enough or strong enough to be sitting here, like, trying to delegate like we're better off like 
you know, teaching and 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 and, and sharing lit and with the ones that are open to understand it and um and 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 being more unified than trying to separate ourselves. You see what I'm trying to say? Like, no, hell yeah. Like and, me, and that's what I'm happens not. for the Southsiders. It's a trip not for us because we're united from day one. Northerners don't get at each other really. Yeah. Personally they might, but not as gangs, but uh they have to they have cars. So they have like San Gabriel Valley, you know, LA City, IE, San Diego, yeah. 805, the and but the weird thing is in those cars, they all beef with each other on the streets and then they get in there, they have to be homies. And so what's happening is now the northerners are feeling what the Southsiders have been feeling. A lot of my homies that are Southsiders would be like, I beef with all these fools and almost lost my life. And then I had to go eat breakfast with them and start, you know, working out with them. And so I was like, why even? So when I came out, I just was all about business. I wasn't on that gangbanging. So a lot of people, the one good thing about prison is a lot of people either come out less on that gangbanger thing, you know? And so then now... The Northerners and the Southerners in Northern California, there's a peace treaty in prison. So if you bang on each other in Northern California, when you go in there, you got to wa watch each other's back. So it don't really make sense. But at the same time, I think the music. What you mean? Like the, South, the North, the upstate Sureños and the. And the yeah. So and like when I was state. growing up, bro, they, that, that word upstate wasn't even a term. You know, they just brought it up. But but from a rap song, that's why music is so powerful. But, and that, but the guy that created that rap song got killed by a northerner, you know? So it's yeah. like, you create that these first songs. first time I heard somebody say that was Swifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Shout expressing him, his thoughts on Chito. Hey, what you think about Swifty? He, he makes good music, bro. And this last, the first he letter of the off was good. controversial, bro. <laughs> yeah, but I, I just feel like he's, he's a good rap. Like, when it comes to the rap, and then how he put that disc together, that first one, like... Like bands was a good character. Like you know how some uh, disses can be funny. Like yeah, he yeah. did a really good funny one. That's very but how, Yeah, but but Swifty he did like every every bar was just. Bah, bah, yeah, it was fuck bah. this and fuck him. And yeah, bitch and he's did yeah for sure. It, I think he did a really good job actually. I think he did a good job. Um, we recently we I unfollowed each other a little Swifty bit ago, but it's all good. Himself. Look, look, look! I think <laughs> Swifty. I think he has tried to portray the tough guy a lot in the past. I ain't saying he is or isn't because I don't know how many, but I know like the image that he tried to like give out was a tough guy image. And I think that when you put out that image, you're bound to get checked and or you're bound to get tested. And if and 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 to me, like it's never about what you do or what you say, it's about how you react. So like mm, yeah, like this, that. like like you could do anything you could do anything you could say anything and 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 that's fine but when the repercussion is how you react will determine the man the caliber of man you are you still trying to say Max. and real uh, quick my bad real quick real quick nah, for sure. i'm on that i'm telling that's you a, I'm, that's, I'm, that's I'm, a bar though yeah i'm i'm you, you got that you got some game on you bro nah, on the real real. so i'm serious uh, and um i just think that if you're gonna be speaking on these people or or saying things negative things i think that you should be looking especially coming from a gangbang background and y'all are all part of the same car for the most part that's what's guys, wild about it and, um i think that it should be nothing to get a friendly fade out the way and because these things don't happen i think that it makes people on the outside looking in like look at things like they're weaker than they what they actually are in real life you know what i'm saying absolutely you said that 100 percent, bro 100 percent. but then i think and i think also it's just how they see it is it then let's just make money because tupac even said he said it to one of the biggie guys i'm just trying to sell records he admits that he was trolling them kind of to make money you know, he, he was the original troll, but he did it like on a gangster ass level, though. You know, like and and he had reasons. Or I just feel like you should at least Tupac have a was reason. Also shot. Tupac was also shot, and in, in their studios, Tupac also. Um, yeah, he had reasons. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like he also he like the shit he had going on pushed them to take it there. And once exactly. he that it was lucrative, he figured, why not? exactly but that makes sense doing these creating drama in your own car like i've never even heard of a northerner rapping about another northerner in a disrespectful way like, Ever. I, I know heard. like like these 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 gangs like the way that they have always programmed 
out there, like these Mexican gangs in California, as far as Sureños and Norteños, the way that y'all have always programmed, like, like back then, none of this even be allowed, from what I know, right? Like, oh hell no! So like, you know, bro, like, podcasting that what we're doing right now it wouldn't even be allowed. Yeah, so like a lot of things are like <laughs> getting turned, getting so commercialized and turned into a mockery that like the real G's aren't even respected no more, bro. That's why I want to create a space like that where I'm connected to my OG, which not OG, but like some of my big home I look up to Gold Toes. Not in the gang world, in the entertainment world. He's like a mentor of mine. and But we're actually friends. There's a difference between like uh, business friends and actual friends. That's what, that, like that's the kind of dude that I'm going to run fades for him on everybody. Anybody that wants it, they can come get it from me anytime. And you'll get a fair one. And if you fall... I won't hit you with my feet, and I'm good at kicking motherfuckers, and I won't. Yeah, I could really but kick like, your jaw, bitch. I yeah, I really, I, I used to play soccer. Like, yeah. I'm a Mexican like that. You feel me? <laughs> nah, facts, facts, facts. Hell yeah, bro. Damn, bro. You sh- have you ever thought about podcasting? Man, a lot of people tell me. I, I think you might. We might. I'm a, I'm a, we'll see. You know, when I go over to Texas, let's do something in person, bro, at Gold Toe Spot, and let's see the vibe, because... Honestly, bro, you might. I was just vibing with you. We we we've gone almost two hours. And it don't even feel like it. Nah, facts, facts. I be chopping. That's how it has to be. Just real chill. Like if, if you're with somebody and thirty minutes in, you're like, damn, this is boring. Dry, right? boring, no <laughs> game, got nothing to say. Really, yeah. about shit. Man, yeah. Man, that's why. Because you could talk on anything. We could chop. Like say something big happens in Texas or Cali, we could jump on one of these and just start podcast. So. Interviews are interviews, you know, more talking about your life. A podcast yeah. is this where I talk a little bit about you, but it's also just whatever comes up and wherever we go with it and just Yeah, I, I definitely I'm very into the podcasting world. I watch a lot, you know, because that's that's my way in. You know, why would I not pay attention to who's doing what and you know what I'm saying? So like yeah, I'm very into the podcast. I watched everything. Like I, I would I, say think I, about I, it. You know who my guy is, bro? A lot of people hate him and he be saying some foul ass shit about Mexicanos también way. But that fool Charleston White, dog. <laughs> hey, he's from Houston? Nah, he's from Dallas, Fort Worth. Shout That's what it me. is. The Twin shout Cities, right? Man, shout out to Uncle Charleston, man. Man, I, I yeah, he the truth. <laughs> I just, why I like him, I mean, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't take him serious, but why I like what some of it he does is that I like that he trolls gangsters, you know, because that yeah, whole... Yeah, for sure. Again, That's the part I like. <laughs> That's what I love, because like you're saying, when you're really about that, I wasn't... So I wasn't really about that in terms of I never took it to prison and all this. But in the time that I was there, I was really part of the inner circle that was really there, you know? Yeah, so I know I'm how it feels. I, I know how it feels right here. Dog. I, I can size you up in a fucking second, bro, to tell if you're really with it. So yeah. what I like about Charleston, though, is that he's not afraid to go out. Most of 80% of gang members are not really with it, actually. Yeah, yeah, and a half yeah. of them don't even want to fight. And they go to prison for 20 years. And most of them, a lot of them are dumb, bro, honestly. So yeah. I just like that he's not a... I'm always into the guy that's to go against the authority. Like BFD, everybody was all like, oh, watch out. He's done 20 years. Bro, I'll slap you, dog. I don't care. Your 20 years mean nothing to me if you disrespect my homeboy. Like, not that way. If you disrespect a grown man that's older than you, that's done nothing but help you, I'm smacking you no matter what you do. You know what I mean? See, so like, from that perspective, like I have no choice but to agree with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and and, and, and I ain't gonna lie, I follow bro, he follow me. Like, and I'm pretty sure he ain't gonna like that or me, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, because you know, like I don't I, you know I, you know how I be like when you be a... Uh, if he trips on you, bro, because nah, you nah, what's, the word? I, I, what's what's that word spamming? But first of all, my apologies to those who probably get annoyed at me sending my post. But man, I gotta get seen. However, you gotta get it. And Instagram is shady now. Yeah, so Instagram. I, spam my shit. I don't. I you know. And and, and BFD be showing love. He be commenting and want me so like, but like the front front. But and and so like that's why I won't just say anything too negative. But I will say the toes is the big homie. Like he done put me in positions to to do my respect on the big homie. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing. And the second thing, like from your perspective and and and, and how you're not wrong. You know what I'm saying? You should be right for the guy slap the shit out you for that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if he wants that, just don't give it to toes because toes is doing is busy. But come over here with all that energy. But then you don't want that energy with me, but then you want to go rap and then put toes again on a on a beat saying that, oh, you want to go fuck with those scraps? Well, tell Chito Runners to come up here and we'll give him 30%. It's like, bro, y'all children, bro. 
but the Matt, the thing I'm hurt. You know, I, I, that trips me out. The only thing that I can say that, that, that in my opinion that I will express is that like about the old, like he's an older cat that really been through it. Who you really that been was so through. surprising. And you was on these yardas where there were peace treaties, weren't there? Like yeah, I'm half asking, of his time. I'm asking half right? of his time he was in a treaty. You know what I mean? And then the other half, I don't know. But the point is that like why why come out with that energy? And BFD can really rap. He rap his ass off. He can rap his ass. I mean, I'll never take that from the Vato. The Vato is deep with the music, bro. And then he be bringing up things that you have to know. Like he said, River Phoenix in his last song, bro. That Vato, his music is great. I'm never, I'll never take that away from him. I believe but his I personal believe life, he needs to get it together before it gets it with him. You know what I mean? Because look, I just want to be clear. These guys, I want anybody that sees this. Rico, to all these guys that don't want to do what's up, what's going on, they're renegades to the program. The program is get along so we can get this money. Remember that. Get this money. Get along, not because we want to be best friends, but because we're out here to get money. That's what we're here to do, to strive so we can take care of ourselves, our families, our communities, and our world. And That's the only like, way we're like going to do that. Even in LA, like, you got 60 artists and Hoover artists. Like, the, the, they don't dish each other. And they're mortal enemies. You got, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, all these bigger gangs that are together. like, 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 yeah, they, won't, like their, their, they won't directly diss their enemy hoods. They'll probably say, like, the ops or the enemies or whatever. But, like, you know, and, and what's, all under, what's overstood don't need to be explained. But, like, y'all, 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 y'all banging on wax, bro. Like, y'all are, I don't know. It's, it's not. Yeah, bro. Thing. Just like like in prison the homies aren't calling the essays scraps you know so then he comes out and then starts calling them scraps again and it's like you're now you're taking us back and and what i'm trying to say is i'm not nobody but i'm i'm enough of somebody just as a man to say not be afraid to say hey bfd everybody you're wrong bfd and i ain't afraid to say it you know what i mean and, and whatever consequences come with it fuck it let's go get get to killing you know nigga let's go Cause I was born into this, you know, like my mom was from my neighborhood, nigga. This nigga has green eyes. He's Italian, a fat Italian from Ohio or some shit. I don't know where he's from. But the other thing is, if you're a full-blooded white man in a Mexican gang, you're a motherfucking guest in our culture and in our movement, and you need to act like a guest and sit, drink a coke, oh, he's a, he's a and have a fucking real, smile. Though? Huh? He's a gavacho for real? Dude, he's a hundred percent white, bro, and he's over here talking about Mexican politics. And I'm not even—I'm half Irish. I'm not even. But my thing is, don't try to divide Mexican people. That's not your place. Even if you're in a Mexican gang, sit back and let the Mexicans deal with the Mexicans, fool. Don't try to become a, a leader, a That's fucking like a, colonizer. Like guys like a, like even yeah, like a, Mr. Keep It Hood or Rich Rabbit. Like you notice, they're not speaking on this shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Well, like Rich Rabbit started doing it, but I like Mr. Keep It Hood. That's my homeboy. Shout out to Mr. Keep It Hood. I, I, Mr. Keep It Hood is the real one. I, I don't got. I don't got. A, I don't got a song with a. I don't. I already know Rich Rabbit like that. But I just. I, I was cool I, with I, him I, though. I did two interviews with Rich Rabbit, but, but I didn't even call him. I've never seen him speak out on this North and South things. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Like, like trying to like like you say cause division between Mexican folks. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we Mexicans, we Mexicanos way like. Shit. Bro, that'd be like you going into a like you trying to speak on black issues within your gang and then being like, hey, bro, like no disrespect, right? But like kick back, let us do this. Like, you know, yeah, like, that would get on my ass. Yeah, they'd be like, Why are you so uh inspired? Why are you so passionate about this though? You yeah, know, they'd get on my ass, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah right. They wouldn't they wouldn't hurt you or beat you up. They'd be, like, they'd be like, you know, and you know, it's funny you say that because like for the longest, I feel like because you know, my big homie from Bompton, nigga, he from he from really from out there, and he also grew up in a time where like you know, got, Bottles were tagging up NK and, you know, like, yeah, like, he's he older about the, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he, he grew up in that time where, like, you know what I'm saying? I was living in LA when it was happening, bro. Yeah. So, like, um, for the longest, like, I didn't know how to, first of all, I never put away being a Mexicano. Never. Not once. Not, not ever was I like, oh, I'm in this black gang, so I can't rip from my raza like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like a lot of times, like I would be like hesitant to be super braggadocious on my hemp thing. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So like growing up like that, like like coming up like that, like you know, my big homie, he 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 never really had it on his chest with like like because by the time he moved out here, he ain't really just like have that on his chest so hard. And especially like I'm the first little homie that he put took up under his wings to like 
put West Side Paru in our mouth out here, and you know, as far as like, you know, our circle and shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, I was the first one that he, you feel me? Like locked in like that, which was crazy because of how he probably felt about Rasa before meeting it for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but um, for sure, like, like uh. Like, like he would say little shit and I'd be like, hey, bro, chill out, fool. Like, like, I, like I'm a Mexicano, remember that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, yeah. my nigga. that's like my big brother, though. Like, he like my big bro, you know what I'm saying? So, like, like he would say some shit like, man, you know, bitch-ass Mexican or whatever. Like, and I'd be like, hey, bro, bitch, chill, because I'm a bitch-ass Mexican. Oh, that nigga, chill out. Like, you know what, like, what I'm saying? Like, That's like, what I mean. It's like, bro, what you doing, dog? And then I'm me. I'm vocal about it. I am vocal about it. I'm vocal as fuck. Yeah, yeah. and if you're going to be vocal, like, if you're gonna like, I'm vocal, but I'm vocal in the positive. So yeah. you can be vocal in the positive. So if BFD was like vocal on like maybe unity stuff, cool. But don't be vocal on the negative thing when you're not yeah. really like you don't understand oh, Spanish, you don't understand yeah, Mexican yeah, sure. culture. Bro, just because yeah. you're from a Northeño gang, don't mean you understand Mexicans, homie. You know what I mean? He, he's in a small group of people that he met, not a whole culture that has ancestors. And we're trying to get ourselves out of this situation, not get back into it. You feel me? And so. I just can't let a vato like that make make us go backwards. You feel me? But yeah. hey, honestly though, I do think you should think about doing reactions to things like how I do, like just getting on a camera. You can literally do it like this because I want to I want to document that I had told you to do this just in case you do it. <laughs> yeah. No, bro, bro, but you can trap it with your phone first. People love that shit. There's guys that get way more views just by their phones because it's authentic. Yeah, like, like I got homeboys playing. Like my, I got my partners that just came home from doing like eight years. My you can interview all of them, but but not just that. But you can speak on Texas issues, yeah, whatever true. Texas rap, all that, and then me and you can podcast about it too. And I'm when I'm in town, we like, can I interview like people. I'm, I'm already becoming a, a, a little older age, so like you know, like I just want to like get my foot in the door in this music and really like like make a few little, make a few little, like get give me a core following, and then transition into you know possibly the podcast world because I do yeah. feel like till so then you can I, comment, I, you can be you know here and there. Yeah, I feel like I, I I got I got good game straight up. Like I no no, I can feel it. Trust me, I do this. I can feel. I can tell. I wouldn't just tell. I wouldn't bring it up out of nowhere if I didn't feel that way about you, homie. So it's a good yeah, thing. No, it, it just means it's a, it's a plan B. It's a maybe something you play with. You know when you pick up yeah, something, you're like oh shit. This I'm, is I'm gonna be cool. honest. Like a lot of my my people, like you know, they've always told me like you're a lot wiser than us. Older people, you know what I'm saying? Like you're a lot wiser than us, bro. Like I don't know what it is the way you die shit and put it into words, bitch. But like. You got like a talent for that shit. Even not just no, you do. The, not just the music, like 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 when you talk and when like you could paint a picture, see like I don't know. I've always heard that. Like, you know, when I was a little kid, I swear to God, um, when I was a little kid, I made my goddamn uh, my language arts teacher cry. She bust down in tears because of some story that I had wrote. Like I don't even remember what it was about, but like she was like crying, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, like you're so good, like like I don't like I because I was a badass kid. Like yeah, you know. What so I'm they're like ah, uh, yeah. She, so they didn't knew that you might not use that cry. potential. I'm like man, I might I might have to stop acting up in your class, bro. You better chill out. <laughs> you make Hell me yeah, feel bro. Bad now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, what's going on in the next couple of weeks, months? What what does it look out for? And then any shout outs? Um shit, I'm dropping no face, no case. It's a seven seven track EP. I'm, trying, I'm, I'm I'm looking to to submit it soon where I speak on the the situation where you know with with, with, with it has a song where I speak on the situation with uh where I spoke on brick and you know the coming out as bisexual weirdo shit and uh I got right now I got um I just released my video for my song trenches like about a week ago that's on YouTube right now sitting at 13k about two months ago I had Drop the street, me go cumbia. That's shit in that goddamn 143. That one's dope. That's the one that yeah. got me interested. So I'll be honest. That, um, that's the one that people liking a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um. Just uh. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to shoot a lot more visuals to all the music that I've been putting out in these recent months. So I'm really just looking to do that. I'm dropping that no face, no case EP, seven tracks. Um. I'm open to do features with people that i fuck with, like you know what i'm saying that i think that their music is hard and so anybody looking that you know that and and and, and if it's beneficial of course like for both of us you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm willing to do that any type of features but other than that like i ain't i'm just working i'm trying to stay consistent trying to you know 
trying to stay doing this shit. Hell yeah. Right way. This this is my way out the streets, bro. Like that. That's the shit that like uh, like I don't know, but I don't know who really got that going on or who don't. I feel like it's a lot of us up and coming that you know this is our alternative route. So you know I pray that we all make it. Um, shout out to my brother Ladre P4K Ladre. Shout out my brother Hit Fanatics. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my boy P4K Ladre. That's my that's 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 the the youngster that that I was telling you about here. Young dude, man, rapping this shit. You know, saying he hard as fuck. Um, my boy Hit Fanatics, he makes all my beats. Shout out to him. Shout out, uh, yeah, man. Shout out to my people, my camp. I'm trying to think, my boy Cast Beats, he be making my beats too. Be uh, engineering my music as well. I like my boy Hit Fanatics, it's really them two. Those are two people I work with. Um, yeah, man. Shout out to streets. Shout out. To, yeah. Shout out to the mama that got a that ain't got. No father in her home, man, for her kids. I got to take her damn kids to school every morning and figure out how she going to get them dressed. And shout out to the guy that's, that's, that's in the penitentiary right now trying to get his shit together and parole home. Shout out to, uh, to, 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 to the, to the step daddies that, 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 that filled in for a, a motherfucker that don't handle his business. So they doing what they got to do to take care of, household or whatever the case may be shout out to uh the rasa that's out here working shout out to the shiroqueros shout out that's to the fremiadores shout out to the to the yarderos shout out to you feel me yeah my base says shout outs that's 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 why that's my hint there you know what i'm saying shout out that's to, right the, the shout out to you feel me the the ruferos shout out to the the guys who build cercas and fences like man shout out to them the Everybody want to be a rapper. Nobody want to be, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, nobody want to work. Nobody want to be something realistic, man. Cool, but it's hard as fuck. You need money. And if you're not a good enough drug dealer, you're going to be going broke trying to fuck with this rap shit. So go figure out something else first and then come Facts. back. You know what I'm saying? But For yeah, sure, bro. shout out. Hell to yeah, well, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you stopping by, bro. Bay to LA, Bay to Texas, man. We we talking about everything here. You feel me? So everybody, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and where can they reach you on Instagram? At, uh, you can reach me at, at Street Migo Sean Official. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And you're gonna it's gonna be in the description. So everybody follow my boy. We're gonna keep doing content from the Bay to Texas. We're gonna speak on LA. We're gonna probably have somebody from LA one day, just all of us chopping it up. I'm trying to bring people together and have conversations so that we can get to a better place for our people, for ourselves, and for our world. Much love and respects. We out. Peace.